Yo! What's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Early on a Saturday morning, we get a little New York Knicks Brooklyn Nets basketball game. I'm excited for this one. Unfortunately, the New York Knicks are still dealing with a couple of injuries. OG and Anobi has been ruled out yet again, as well as Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson. So the Knicks will be having to rely on the rest of the roster to try to pull out this win. And this is a massive win, if possible, for the New York Knicks. I was looking at the standings prior to the game, and right now the New York Knicks, I believe, let me double check real quick, have clinched a playoff spot. The New York Knicks have clinched a playoff spot. Welcome back to the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Also, you're sitting in the fifth spot right now. Uh, Boston in the first seed, Milwaukee second, Cleveland 43 and 27. They're in the third seed. Orlando in the fourth seed at 42 and 28. And the Knicks in the fifth seed at 41 and 28. They are just one loss, one more loss than the Cleveland Cavaliers who sit in that three seed. You win today, you're going to be right back in the thick of things. Today's a must win ball game. I know you have no OG, I know you have no Randall and Robinson but you got to get it done. So my question to everybody watching the show right now is this. What is the biggest X factor for today if the New York Knicks want to walk out of MSG early in the afternoon with a win? Shout out to everybody in the building as well. Hit that thumbs up icon for me if you haven't. Already over 80 people watching. Only 17 likes. Those are rookie numbers. Hit those thumbs ups for me. Tom Saunders says, I need some coffee instead of my usual beer shot. <laughs> Time in the Buckeye. What's up, my man? So if the Knicks win, the Nets are out. According to my calculations, my NBA app is telling me that six teams have already clinched a spot in the playoffs. It is Boston, Milwaukee, Cleveland, Orlando, New York, and Indiana. That does not mean you have clinched a top six seed. That means you have clinched, at minimum, a play-in spot. Uh, King, I King Chris says we did not clinch a playoff spot. Yes, we did, brother. Yes, we did. We cannot fall further than the 10th uh, seat. Because we already have 41 wins, and they have 30 wins. And if you just do the math, there's no way that they could pass us. So, yes, you have clinched at minimum a play-in spot. Um, if you want to call that the playoffs, you can. You don't have to. But, yes, the Knicks have clinched at minimum a play-in spot. Ty Man the Buckeye. What's up, my brother? Crumble cookies. Is that the crumble cookies? If so, send some to Chat Sports, and we'll try them. We'll try them. Crumble cookies are fire. I know people like to hate on them, but I like them. Mason, what's up, bro? Bashy in the building says Brunson needs to get 30 points. Yeah, I need a big game out of Jalen Brunson today. We need Jalen to be hot. Come out early, and let's put these fools to let, – let, let's put this game over and make it over quick. Like, no need for to let Brooklyn hang around here in the second half at all. Levi's the best as Burks and Bogey. Yeah, I mean, look, if you can get anything out of Burks and anything out of Bogey, that's going to be just a plus to anything that you've gotten so far. Uh, Boyan Bogdanovich, sadly, has been terrible since he became a member of the New York Knicks, um, which is very, very sad because I don't understand how that's possible. The guy had never shot below 36% from three in his career. He's 35 years old. He's now doing it with the New York Knicks, so I don't get it. Uh, Getting some booze in the chat for my man, King Xavier Sendeño Shorts. What up, man? Menno B says Josh Hart needs to go hard today as well as make up for that terrible game in Denver. Yeah, I'm expecting Josh Hart to be active today. Uh, anyone that watched the Denver Nuggets game, he was not very good. He just looked a little bit disinterested in my opinion. And, and look, it's the fourth game of a West Coast trip. You're ready to get back home, ready to see the family. I'm sure he's ready to see his kids. Um, but... I got to call it like I see it. I didn't think he wanted to play much in that game. That's just what it was. That doesn't take away how good he's been since the All-Star break. Both things can be true. He's been really good, but he was not good on uh, Thursday. Brian says the whole team looked cold against Denver. <sighs> that was such a weird game. That was such a weird game. You cut it to two in the fourth quarter, and then they go on a massive run, and they blow you out. But look. Um, they were motivated. Michael, Mike Malone said it. Mike Porter Jr. said it, that they were motivated to beat the Knicks after the Knicks dominated them at MSG. So a fully healthy, fully motivated Denver Nuggets team at home, 
you were within two points in the fourth quarter. I don't, I don't like moral victories, but we move. We move from that. We'll get to more pregame stuff coming up around the corner, but first, I got to give a huge shout-out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Check them out. Support the show. Support the sponsor. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS, and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. And look, with the NCAA tournament here, there is no better time in the calendar than now to play prize picks. They have all of these awesome deals for new and returning users. And right now, you can take advantage of their deal of the day. They have sliced Caitlin Clark's point total to half a point. I believe she's going to score at least one point. So I'm going to go with more on Caitlin Clark. And I think JB, Captain Clutch, is going to have a big game against the Nets today. I'm going to go with more on his points. Just select more on Caitlin Clark. Prepare it with one more play, and you could 3x your money. Put 20 bucks in, you can win potentially $60. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. I kindly ask, if you are going to play daily fantasy sports, you do it with us and our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. We would love having them as a sponsor. It's a huge opportunity for us, but the only way we can keep them around is if the real ones support them. So please, 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 Support the sponsor. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. So about 29 minutes away from tip-off here as we got a little matinee game at Madison Square Garden. Um, as I just am getting a quote from Brian Davel says, I've got a tremendous amount of respect for Saquon Barkley and all the players that went on to other places. Wish him all the best except when he's playing the Giants. I wish Dable just would have went out there and been like, hey, yo, F Saquon Barkley. That's what he should have said, but it is what it is. Bash, he says, hey, Mar, should the Knicks re-sign Shake Milton or sign someone else? Well, Shake Milton's on the team for the remainder of the season, I'm pretty sure. It, was a, it wasn't just a 10-day contract. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure about that. Um, it's been a little bit weird to me how little Shake Milton has played. I never expected him to come in and be a major part of this rotation, but I did expect for him to at least play some minutes, especially in the games that Jalen Brunson was hurt. And with the way that Burks has played outside of the game on Thursday, you can't tell me Shake Milton couldn't have added, couldn't have had or added that much uh, production. Tom Thibodeau, just a second ago, was asked about a hypothetical question about whether OG and Anobi would be able to practice if the Knicks held a practice. Presumably, Thibodeau didn't want to get into a hypothetical situation with an injured player, but it did say Ananobi is doing better. So just let it calm down. Go from there, Tip said. Ananobi has missed three games for injury maintenance on his surgically repaired right elbow. Ananobi had surgery to address the elbow ailment in early February. He returned to the court last week after an 18-game absence. In his second game back, Ananobi appeared to aggravate the elbow injury. He played in the Knicks' next game against the Kings, but was ruled out the following game at Golden State. Knicks play next Monday versus Detroit. It's, it's really been disappointing with the injuries of this team. So often as sports fans, we just want to see our team play at full strength. And us as Knicks fans have been really robbed of that so far. It's pretty unfortunate. I mean, I think they're 15-2 and two when OG and Obi plays. I think they're 15-1 and one when Ananobi and Brunson play. So that, that stinks. My guy Joey DeLuca in the building. Shout out to Joey. What up, man? Thanks for the love, man. Forkamp says, I'm at a water park, but we still got to watch my boy Mars. Shout out to you. A water park in March. That's crazy. That water's got to be a little bit nippy, my boy. Joey DeLuca coming in with the first super chat of the day. Joey, we appreciate you, man. Thanks for being here. Um, that's mad love, bro. Who do you guys got? Tonight, today, tonight, tomorrow, whatever they play. Who do you got? Type K for the Knicks, type N for the Nets. I want to know, um, what do y'all guys think is going to win the game today? I think I had my phone here. I do. I think the Knicks were favored by like eight and a half. Seven and a half. Shout out to producer Cullen getting it done. Seven and a half points. You got to just come out and get the dub. Shout out to Cullen in the building as well. Seeps pretty much said I'm too big time to work on Saturdays now. So my man C. Breezy's in the building. What's up, Cullen? First New York Knicks watch party. What's going on, man? You ready for this? I am so ready, dude. We're oh, I'm paid so... to watch New York Knicks basketball. I mean... Who's got it better than us, dude? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Who's got it better than us? 
Nobody. Shout out to see Breezy in the building. Everybody show Cohen some love. My guy came in on a Saturday. This is this is a credit to you guys. Look, um, when we first started doing these watch parties last year, I was having to do them solo dolo. But the love that you guys show, the support over the last probably 19 months at this point, helps us get seeps, helps us get rolly, helps us get smitty coop. Now I got my boy Cullen in the building. Are the Knicks getting it done today? Are they, can they get it done against a, a bad Nets team? Let's be honest. They're a really bad team. They're bad. They're really bad. They may not have uh, Schroeder today, not have Keon Johnson. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking the Knicks roll today. They should. How they about should. a win and a cover? That's what I'm a saying. A win and a cover. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, Crumble Cookie. Seeps is too cool to work on Saturdays. He's doing probably some Vikings videos at home that are doing 40,000 views or something like that. So, uh, yeah, he's just too big time for he us. He really man. is. I, I love this next question you got up on the screen. I love playing this game. Name a random Knicks player. And, I, and you know, Cohen, Carmel Anthony's not random. Patrick no. Ewing is not random. Stephon Alan Marbury. Not yeah. random. Uh, what about a guy like Moochie Norris? Or maybe a guy like Ron Baker? Or another guy like Pablo Prigioni? Eddie House? Name a random Nick for me. Down in the comment section. You guys always are super creative with these. I love doing them. So uh, name some random Knicks for me in the comment. Mindegas Kuzminskis. That is the definition of a random Nick. Kirk Thomas? Eh, that's not really random. He's a legend. Charles Oakley? That's not random. You guys could do better than that. What about a guy like Jimmer? Jimmer Fredette. Random New York Nick. Um, Steve Novak. That's Steve Novak. I love that. Love that one. Rashid Wallace. There you go. Ron Artest. Uh, Penny Hardaway. Steve Francis. Come on. Spike Lee. He didn't even play for the Knicks. <laughs> Ronaldo Balkman. Love it. Yep. Anthony Bonner. Love it. Tracy McGrady. Love it. Allen Houston. Come on, Joey. That ain't random. You're better than that. As Mason McGill coming in with a super chat with a absolute Random New York Nick 4K Anthony going with Tracy McGrady, Tim Thomas. That's random. What's another? Let me think if I can get some other random Nicks. Mason McGill hit it right on the head. Emmanuel Moutier. Colin, I used That's to think point. Emmanuel Moutier was going to be a dog. Yes. Coming out of SMU, Larry Brown said he was like the best point guard he ever coached in his life. Um, it didn't ever really get on track for him in the NBA. He was one of those guys, though, that I thought was going to be good in this league. No, I thought so, too. I mean, local guy, obviously, you mentioned kind of his track history. And, you know, he came in just with all this hype and everything and just never really found his footing. I thought the same thing about uh, – oh, who's the lefty from Duke that came out? He was uh, – R.J. Barrett? What? <laughs> <laughs> that fits. That fits. I'll roll with that answer because I can't remember mine. But yeah. <laughs> David uh, Lee, he's not random. He's an all-star. He's one of our few all-stars we've ever had. Tamar Bowles in the building. What's up? Lindsey Rose says they just subscribed. Shout out to you. Thank you for subscribing. We're one sub away from 36,400 subscribers. Hit that sub button. Chris Duhon, Tamar Bowles. That is a random nick. Former Duke guy as well. Greg Anthony. That's eh, all right. Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford was my favorite New York Nick growing up. Him and Nate Robinson. I love those dudes. They got yeah. buckets. Uh, Tori A. Murray, that is a random Nick. What about a guy like um, Langston Galloway? Ooh, okay. Langston Galloway was a random Nick. Steve Francis from Carlos. Frank says Phil Jackson, yeah. As a player, uh, he was a terrible general manager, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Trey Burke was our... Remember when Trey Burke had like 48 points for the New York Knicks one day? That's hilarious. Crumble Cookie says Marshall Green. I could never hoop in the NBA. Are, do you see me? Do you see me? Do you see what I see? Um, no. Iman Shumpert loved him. Alexi Shved, random. Ron Artest, yeah, that's a random one. Derek Rose, random. Um, who, who were also some of those other older guys? That one 2012, 2013 team. Yeah, Jason Kidd. There you go. Frank Neokina, Chris Childs. That's good stuff. 170 people in the building. If you haven't yet, Please hit that thumbs up icon. Still about 20 minutes away from tip off. My guy Heartstorm Media in the chat. Luke Cornett, for, uh, current Boston Celtic. Yep. Anthony, what up? He said, what up, Goat? Nah, you to go, bro. You to go. Uh, who was that one guy that dunked on Giannis? Ah, um, he was like a top 10 pick from Orlando. Um, 
Uh, can you say this? Foreign guy? He was foreign? Um, number eight. What was his name? Uh, H- uh, Hazonia. Hazonia. Yeah, someone in the chat Mario got it. Hazonia. Mario Hazonia. Shout out. That's good stuff. Crumble Cookie says, Marsh, you'd probably be better than Boyan. If I played Boyan Bogdanovich in one-on-one, he would probably beat me 21 to nothing. I, if it was make it, take it, I don't think I'd get the ball. He'd just take me to the post, or he didn't have to. He'd just shoot over me. The guy's like 6'8". Um, also from Brian Dable, no guarantee Daniel Jones will be ready week one, but when he gets back, he'll be the guy. <laughs> sure, sure, oh. Brian. Sure, Brian. That's why you told Drew Locke he'll be competing for the starting job, right? Mm, for sure. For sure. Chris Copeland. Peter Wynn in the building. What's up, Peter? He says, hello, Marshall, Cullen B, and all of the real ones. Peter yeah. Wynn is one of the realest, realest ones in this freaking chat. Peter, we love you. We appreciate you. Shout out to Sh- Show and Cullen some love. What's up, man? Peter. You still wearing that real one t-shirt, brother? We might need to get you a new one. We might need to get you a new one. He's a real one. He's been supporting this show. One thing I love about Peter Wynn is whenever we would do a super chat battle against the Raiders report, he was not letting us lose. He didn't want to lose to the Raiders report. Peter Wynn, he he went God mode a couple of times. Anthony Danaher in the building. What's up, Danaher? My guy right there leading the March Bang contest right now, Anthony Danaher. Johnson, you though. You missed it, Anthony. He's kind of making up a kind of making up a little bit of, of ground that we got. We do still have our March competitions going on. We're getting to the end of the month. So if you ever want to enter the raffles, now is the time. Reminder, every $10 super chat that you send in, or every $10 you send in this month, will get you a raffle ticket to win this signed Walt Clyde Frazier. I've been calling it a photo, but I feel like it's like too big to be a photo. So I'm like kind of calling it a poster now, but it's pretty sick. I'm going to get it framed up for you guys before I send it out. Every $10 you send in this month will get you a ticket to potentially win it. And then whoever sends in the most $50 Super Chats this month, you're going to get yourself any New York Knicks jersey you want. If you want a custom jersey, we can customize it for you. We'll put a little Chat Sports Real One spin on it. If you just want a Knicks player jersey, that's what my guy William Burton did. He won it in February. He chose just to have a Jalen Brunson jersey. We got that for him as well. And if you send in a $100 Super Chat, You become a member of our Knicks Now Hall of Fame. We had a couple people join last game. Shout out to Brian Fitzgerald, Rebel Montana. You guys are best. Shout out to everybody. And my guy Danny McGrath was going crazy yet again. He was MIA for a couple of days, but he was back, and he was back with the business. Uh, Peter Wynn says, yes, sir, still wearing. I need a new one of those, and I have the basketball from all of – yep, I remember last – was that last free agency, Peter? Uh, you won it on our main channel. I remember that. And uh, everybody signed it for you. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. This is the updated leaderboard for our March Bank Contest. Anthony Danaher still holding on to the top spot. He has sent in 10 $50 Super Chats this month. Shout out to him. He's on his way to potentially being the bank god. Unless Johnson Yu. Johnson Yu went kind of crazy within the past week. He told me he's saving his best stuff for the playoffs. Because he's a big time player, and big time players play big time ball games. Uh, they play, they play well. So we'll see if Johnson U comes to uh, take the crown. I think Anthony Danaher is going to defend his honor. His honor. I don't think he's going to, he's going to do that. WFN Remedy says, "What about Lonzo Trier?" I thought Lonzo, Alonzo Trier was a bucket, uh, but for some reason he got exiled from the league. I don't know what happened. LL says Brooklyn always plays hard against the Knicks only. Agreed. Will says, hey, Marshall, did you see Julius on pregame shoot-around? He looks good. Yeah, um, Julius has looked good, and he's been going hard in pregame warm-ups the last couple of games. Um, We told you guys on the video yesterday that Julius is pushing the Knicks to let him play. He's pushing. He's saying, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. But he has not been cleared for contact. Um, So there's that. I, I, I expect him to come back. But we're running out of time here. After today, you only got 12 games left. And Randall, in my opinion, is such a rhythm player and such a guy that it needs to be in a groove. I don't want him playing himself back into shape and also playing himself back into a groove in a playoff game. I, I, I don't think that that's the best way um, for that. For that. All right. Still about 15 plus minutes away from tip-off. Bashy says, will you do live streams in the summer? 
Absolutely. Once the Knicks season is over, we'll get back to doing one live show a week. Uh, we like to do like one New York Knicks Now show a week uh, in the summer. So we'll be doing that as well. We'll just be talking about the latest Knicks news and rumors, hanging out and chopping it up with you guys. King Krish says, when will Robinson be back? TBD. TBD. Um, he was practicing on either Wednesday or Thursday of this week. I don't remember. I got my days all mixed up. But Wednesday or Thursday of this week, he returned to practice in a full capacity for the first time since the injury. So that's really good news. Um, I think he's close. I think he's back before the end of March. And I think that Ananobi uh, could also be back around that same time. I don't think OG is going to play in these next four ball games. As they're saying, Julius Randle's pregame workout went as long as possible till right before the kids' game tipped off. <laughs> so there's a kids' game. So we're not letting Julius Randle get more pregame shots because the damn kids. Man, eh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Imagine how cool that would be. A kid getting to go on the MSG4 and playing some freaking hoops. That'd be pretty sweet. Tamar Bowl says, I really want to see what Melton can do. I don't know if we're ever going to get there. Heartstorm Media says, crazy thing is, I've been courtside and never seen a hard pregame warm-up. What time do I need to show up for that? Pretty early, I bet. Pretty early. Um, especially for the guys that are injured. But that, that just came out that Randall was going uh, really hard, as now I'm watching video here's randall working out um on the floor and then he go talk he talks to leon rose on the sideline daps up worldwide west he does it with his right arm too well right arm that's the hurt arm right arm looks all right to me if you can give dap you can play brother you can play <laughs> until he can't until he can't uh now i'm getting some footage here of randall getting some shots up Shooting some some from shooting some threes from straight on. Um, you guys know how I feel about Randall. Um, I'm up and I'm down, just like he is consistently. But I do understand that if the Knicks want to do things in the playoffs that they have not done in 20 plus years, they're going to need a fully healthy Julius Randall. Not only that, they're going to need a productive Julius Randall. So there's that. Um, yeah, Brian says, let's go. What's up, man? Robinson is supposed to come back today, but I think he'll come back early. Robinson is not coming back today. Robinson is out. Randall is out. And OG and Anobi is out. So I am assuming that the Knicks are going to roll with that same starting lineup they have the last two games that features Brunson, McBride, DiVincenzo Hart, and Isaiah Hart and sign at the big man spot. Tamar Bowles says, whenever Jules comes back, I hope Tibbs doesn't play him close to 40 minutes. Low 30s is good. Yeah, I don't really expect for Randall to get back to 100% of the workload that he was rocking with prior to the injury. Um, can you give me 25 minutes a game? 12 minutes in the first half, 12 minutes in the second half, and then you continue to work up. Um, that's why it's so important for him to get back in the regular season because you want him to be peaking in his rehab when the – Regular season ends. You don't want him to start his journey back when the postseason starts. Um, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. Ninja Samurai in the building. Johnson, you in the building. What up, J.U.? What up, what up to everybody in the building? Shout out to y'all. 250 people watching. Only 59 likes. That's kind of BS. It's kind of BS. If you want the Knicks to get healthy, like the video. And if you have liked the video... Comment me down below so I know who the real ones are so I can know who to talk to. I wish we could make the chat. I know we do subscriber-only mode. I wish it was like-only mode. Like, if you like the video, you can be in the chat because that's important. My man Marvelous Marlon Fleming says, What's up, family? Let's rock and roll. Let's get a dub today, brother. My guy, MMF. What up, man? Shout out to Tamar Bowles. Levi's the best. Johnson, you says, Orlando is only a game behind the third seed. Donovan is also out. What if they drop to the fourth and we play them again i would love to play the cleveland cavaliers in round one we would mop them up again just like we did last year in five games um i wouldn't mind that i wouldn't mind playing them round one i know that they're a good team and i know they have when healthy some more shooters with max Struess and niang there now um i just think that we play too physical of a brand of basketball 
for them to beat us in a seven-game series, especially if Mitchell Robinson is back. Like, we saw Robinson dominate Jared Allen. We saw even Julius Randle, he made Evan Mobley look really small. I know it's a year later. He's still a young kid. He's going to get better. I just, I just don't know if they can, they can big dog with us. Anthony Davis Hurst says, that's an easy series. I'd take that. Yeah, I, I still got my eyes on the three seed, man. I, I know Orlando's ahead of us by, I believe, half a game. If I'm right, Johnson, you half a game there. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. My man Carl in the building. What's up, Carl? He says, yo, it was good money. Mars should be an easy win. It should. Let's get a win today. Let's jump back into the four seed. Um, and let's go about our business. These next couple of games for the Knicks are, are like, look, it's the NBA. I don't want to say easy, but Brooklyn, Detroit, Toronto, San Antonio. That should be 4-0. That should be 4-0. Brooklyn, Detroit, Toronto, San Antonio. That should be 4-0. Then you got OKC. That's going to be tough. You got Miami. That'll be tough. Sacramento. That'll be tough. Chicago should be a win, but they are battling for a playoff spot. They're not just going to roll over. Milwaukee will be tough. Then you got Chicago again. Boston's always going to be tough. Then you get maybe an easier game versus Brooklyn. Then you got Chicago again. You play the Bulls three times in the final six games. That's why it's so important to win these next four. Because Miami, Miami, OKC, Sacramento, Milwaukee, Boston. That's still five really, really tough ball games. Um, and you play team three times in, in, in a week. From April 5th to April 14th, the Knicks play the Chicago Bulls three times. That's not going to be easy. Uh, there's going to be scouting done. They're going to be treating that like a playoff game as they're trying to get, get a nice spot in the play-in, uh, potentially. Tomorrow Bulls says we were in the fifth spot last year. Yes, Cleveland was four. We were five. Um, Hamina Patel says, hey, hey, I've been a big fan. You're the best live streamer for the Giants and Knicks. Thank you for the very kind words. We appreciate you. Glad to have you here. Um, King says, I am going to the Knicks versus Nets on April 2nd. Will everyone, April 12th, everyone will be back. They better be. If they're not back by April 12th, we, that's, the, that's the second to last game of the season. We're, we got problems. Um, I would hope so. Art Store Media, agreed, brother. Agreed, but the spider is out, so Cleveland will slide. Yeah, potentially, potentially, potentially. Art Store Media says only 83 likes. Yeah, I know, 270 people watching, only 80 likes. What do we got to do? What do we got to do to get you to like the video? You name your price. You name your price. It'd be cool if we got to 100 likes. I think that'd be pretty damn cool. Johnson U says, if Randall's not back by then, do you just rest him? And yeah, that's where I'm at, Johnson U. I will say this. If I think he needs five games. I think he needs at minimum five games. If Randall's not back by April 7th against Milwaukee and finish out the season with Milwaukee, Chicago, Boston, Brooklyn, Chicago, I'm really tempted to just say, hey, I appreciate the work. I appreciate you coming back. Go get the surgery and be ready to go for game one of 82 for the 2024 season. I don't think that it's the best idea we kind of saw last year to work his way back into basketball shape in the playoffs. Um, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Glitzy says, hey, big bro, much luck to Isaiah Hartenstein on points this game. You got Cheddar on his points over? On prize picks, they had his goblin set to uh, like 10 and a half. I would have took the, took the more on that, but I just rocked with the one I was most confident in. Almost 420 in Sydney. Blaze it if you can. No idea what you mean by that. Blaze it if you can. We don't know what that means. We have no idea what that means. But if you do, I, uh, you should do it responsibly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hardy says at least Orlando plays Sacktown today. Hopefully they do us a solid. Yeah, how about... How about the Kings get a win today? How about the Kings get a win? Sil Pasito! <coughs> this is good afternoon or morning. Uh, it's officially afternoon now here, 12.03. He says, you guys going to get an early start on the drinking today? I'm never scared. We're never scared, but 
we're just matching energy. We're just matching energy today. If you guys want to party, it's only me and C Breezy in the building today. Um, if they want to party, I'm down to party. But I'm down to party too. How about this? We're at 101 likes. We just hit 101. 101 likes. Hey yo. If we can, I'll let you make the deal, Marsh. Whatever likes we get to before tip off, we'll do a little beer bong race. How about that? Likes for a beer bong race. I like that. Hey, if we got 300 people watching. Um. Make it happen. Let's get to at minimum 169 likes for no other reason than that's Nothing. one of my favorite numbers. If so, uh, Johnson, you says, who's the mysterious producer? I got my man Cohen in the building. Everybody what show up, CB some love. Give me some CBs in the chat. Uh, Seeps up? called off today. He was like, you know what? I don't even like the Knicks, and I like don't want to go to work because I don't like Johnson. You, it's what he told me, quote unquote. Quote unquote. Uh, so we we picked up the phone. We called in. We called in Captain Clutch, C Breezy. Showing up, showing out. Um, there we are. Seeps is fake as F. I trying to tell you guys, Johnson, you there's nobody that's a bigger flake than Patrick Seatman. That guy's a flake right there. Uh Johnson you, my man. Um if we get a fifty dollar super chat, we'll also do a beer shoddy race. We'll do a shoddy race for fifty. F it. We'll F it. Um, get it started here. I mean, it's already the afternoon on a Saturday. If you're not drinking in the afternoon on a Saturday, are you even partying? What are you doing? Exactly. Levi's the best says Seep's probably going to watch the game at home. No, he's actually not home. He said he's not even going to watch the game. He said he hates the Knicks. And he actually said Levi's the best stinks. Levi's the best stinks. Remember, guys, every $10 Super Chat you send in in the month of March, not much longer. I think we have today and then four more games for the month of March. So if you want to have the opportunity to win this signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo, a $10 Super Chat will get you a ticket. As my guy Anthony Dainer getting us started, he said, let's get this. Let's effing go Knicks. Anthony Dainer bringing some energy to the building. My man, my man, my man. We appreciate you. That's my guy right there. And then Johnson, you coming in with a $10 Super Chat. Uh-huh. Wellington Davy says, turn yo click up, Knicks. Let's get this dub. Davies. What up, Davies? Johnson, you says, Seeps, the reason we lost the last game. Cohen, greater than Seeps. People are talking. People are talking. Um, that's, that's what we're hearing. That's what we're hearing. <laughs> Let's go. Shout out to Johnson, you. Shout out to Anthony Daner. We appreciate you guys. Both of y'all are going in the raffle again to win a potential signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. My question to all 330 people watching is, when we go to April in a week or so, what should be our raffle prize for April? Do y'all want more of these type of things, signed photos? Um, I got to come up with an idea for April, but I'd rather just uh, get it from the source. What are you guys interested in? So that way I can just make it easier. I thought this one was pretty cool. I think this in a man cave or wherever you watch a game would be pretty damn cool. Michael Vasquez says, Seeps is our boy. Let's stop it. <laughs> he is. He is. But F that guy. F that guy. I'm walking out of work to go to the game this morning, and he's like, you need the parking pass? I'm like, you mother effer, dude. You're not even working today. Uh, Signed Jalen Brunson Villanova jersey. Ooh, that's big time. That's big time. Signed gear is fire. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. King Ja says, what's up, King Ja? Knicks 116, Nets 97. Yeah, that would that would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. Already picked up 14 subscribers in the pregame. Shout out to you guys. On our way to potentially 36,500 subs today. We're climbing that totem pole. Um, that's my guy. As Peter win with a $20 super chat. Says, Go New York, go New York, go, go New York, go New York, go. Shout out to Peter Wynn, my man. We love you, brother. Thank you for always supporting the channel. There is a reason that Peter Wynn is a member of our Knicks Now Ring of Honor. He's right here. Shout out to Peter Wynn. One of the realists in the game. Shout out to Peter. That's my guy. We love you, brother. Shout out to everybody in the building, almost 400 people watching. Please, 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 please hit that thumbs up icon. It's the easiest way to support the channel, and it's free, and it's free. So um, if you're here, 
you at least somewhat enjoy what you're watching. If you want us to do more of these streams, just like the video. It's not that hard. The Gaming Brother says, Nets for life. Yikes. Evan Porterman says, what's up, Marsh? I'm here for your stream. Evan Porterman, I'm here for you, brother. Thank you, big dog. Bashy says, sub to the goats, or you are not a Knicks fan. My man. Mark K says, hey, Marsh, how about a mellow jersey? I could be down with that. I feel like there's a mixed feeling amongst Knicks fans about Carmelo Anthony. As it is official, the starting lineup will be Jalen Brunson, Miles McBride, Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, and Isaiah Hartenstein. Um, reminder, no Randall, no Robinson, and no OG and an OB tonight. So Knicks are going to have to get it done with their second, <laughs> second unit. As the starting five for the Nets will include Cam Thomas. They're saying Schroeder is going to play. So Schroeder was a game-time decision. He'll play. So it's Schroeder, Thomas, Mikael Bridges, Cam Johnson, and Claxton. I don't want to say they are a small lineup as well, but when you go Cam Johnson at the four, you're a little bit smaller. Uh, obviously, Hart will be giving up some size when guarding him. You're probably going to get DiVincenzo on Bridges. Uh, I would assume Deuce McBride on Cam Thomas, Brunson on Schroeder, and then uh, Hartenstein on Nick Claxton. Claxton's one of the best defensive centers in this league. Uh, he could protect the paint. We've really seen Brunson and Hartenstein really start to click in this two-man game with this new starting lineup. More space, more spots in the paint to operate. Um, so I want to continue to see them work that pick and roll and be really efficient. The last two games, I want to say the Knicks have played. Hartenstein has had eight points in both those first quarters. He had 20 points two days ago. Uh, he's been really good on that push shot. As Anthony Danaher, my man back again with a $10 super chat. He says, I tell you, Marsh, it's 4 a.m. here in Melbs, Australia, so got to win today. Anthony Danaher is tuning in at 4 a.m., showing major love. Let's get some ADs in the chat. That's mad love. Shout out to him. He could be sleeping. He could be doing literally whatever people do, random, normal people do at 4 a.m. But here he is, tuning in to the Best Knicks channel on YouTube as we are moments away from tip-off. The New York Knicks will be wearing their blue jerseys with the black on the side, kind of the 1990, early 2000s away uniforms, while the Brooklyn Nets will be wearing their whites. Tip is up, and Nick Claxton will win it, and Brooklyn will control. Dennis Schroeder, he'll have it at the top of the key. Brunson guarding him. Brunson's going to have to play some defense today. Both guards for Brooklyn can put it on the deck and get to the cup. Cam Johnson, right wing, gets it to Claxton at the elbow. He'll hand it off to Thomas. Thomas, ball stolen by DiVincenzo. He's going to look to go all the way. He'll attack the rim, has it batted away, and then he'll kick it back out to Hart. Hart now drives to the lane, and he lays it up, and he smoked it. Rebound was collected by Hartenstein, and he'll be fouled by Dennis Schroeder. So you had a fast break opportunity there as Josh Hart is saying, yeah, Josh Hart should be awarded two points. That was a goaltend by Nick's, Nick Claxton. They did not call it. So it'll be Nick's ball with 14 to shoot. Brunson, top of the key, guarded by Claxton. Looking to go to work. He'll cross over, gets to his left hand. Now walk him down in the post. Turn around, fade away. No good. Brunson just off the mark there. Rebound by Schroeder. He'll throw it up ahead to Bridges. Bridges is going to post up Brunson here. He's got the height advantage. Nick's looking to double. He'll swing it going to be cam johnson right corner three good i don't believe that i think the knicks double team too much sometimes um in the nba the last thing you want to do is give a team open looks from three they did that all night versus denver by doubling Jokic, and it happens on the second possession of the game here let everybody just play one-on-one -on -one defense brunson comes off the screen he'll drive on bridges now he'll post him up he's at the foul line right inside the paint Pump fake, pump fake, drop off pass to Hartenstein. His push shot up and in from the right block. Hartenstein looking to be aggressive on the offensive end yet again. Schroeder brings it up quickly for Brooklyn. He'll get a screen from Claxton. He'll drive through the baseline, then throws it out to Johnson. Johnson guarded by DiVincenzo. He'll hand it off to Schroeder. He'll pull up from the foul line. Schroeder's J, no good. Rebound by Brunson. Knicks can push if they want to. Now they'll slow down in the half court. No, Brunson gets it going. He gets downhill, and he has it knocked away, and it's going to be out of bounds off Brooklyn. 
Brunson once again complaining for foul calls. Um, I wish he would stop doing that. I wish he would stop complaining. He's starting to look like a little bit of Trey Young out there. Just hoop, dog. You're too good to be complaining for ticky-tack fouls. Brunson will throw it in. He gets it to I Hart. He throws it right back to Brunson. Nick's moving around the perimeter. Hart has it in the right corner. He'll hand it off to DiVincenzo. He turns the corner and gets downhill, and he's going to be fouled by Cam Johnson. DiVincenzo will go to the line for two. As FGC Hitman coming in with a $5 super chat. What's up, my guy? Appreciate you tuning in. He says, meal prepping and cooking while tuning in. What are you cooking and meal prepping? What are you cooking? What are you cooking? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the love, bro. We appreciate it, my man. Creed's in the chat. What's up, Creed? Shane says, I'm making a bigger deal out of basketball shape. I'm not even stressing on the shape type of thing. I just think Randall is such a rhythm-based player. Um, his game is so – he's just a, he needs to be in a groove. When he's grooving, when he's moving and grooving, he's one of the best in the business. Um, we saw that in Cleveland. He didn't have any games to prepare, and he was very clunky out there. He also was really bad at the start of the year, going through an ankle injury, having to get up to speed through that. I think it's been proven that Randall, coming off an injury, needs time. DiVincenzo knocks in both free throws. Now the Knicks are on defense. Claxton has it on the left block. He'll face up on Hartenstein. His hook shot, no good. Rebound by Josh Hart. He'll bring it up. Look at the push. Gets it ahead to Brunson. Brunson, pump fake. He'll drive. Floater off the glass. No good. Hartenstein, though, with the offensive board. He'll throw it out to Deuce. Deuce kicks it to Hart. Hart to Brunson. Brunson, corner three. Good. Good ball movement off the offensive rebound for the Knicks. And Brunson knocks it in from the corner. Schroeder now will bring it up for Brooklyn. He'll dribble through the baseline. Hands it off to Johnson, who's in the corner. Brunson will guard him. Here comes a double. He'll give it up now. Bridges on the left side. Guarded by Hart. He'll swing it to Schroeder. Schroeder drives on DiVincenzo, and he just beat him off the punch. Dante's got to keep his feet hot there. Got to be better than that, DiVincenzo. Brunson will walk it up. Nick's up by two, and then Schroeder knocks it away from Chenzo into the backcourt. He'll recover it. Now the Knicks have 10 to shoot. Hardenstein, top of the key. Backdoor feed to Brunson. Pass was a little behind him, and it was stolen. Cam Thomas will bring it up for Brooklyn. Guarded by Deuce. Finds Bridges on the cut. He's on the block. He'll go right at Chenzo. Good defense there. Gets it to Claxton. They play catch. Bridges shot. No good. Rebound by the Knicks. Here they come. DiVincenzo pushing it up the right side. Kicks it to Hart. Hart to Deuce. Deuce from the corner. Bang! Deuce McBride for three off the feed from Jay Hart. <laughs> Knicks up by five. Brooklyn looking to push. Thomas in the break. He'll take it all the way. His layup up and in. He went right at the chest of Deuce McBride. And he could not be stopped. Three-point game, just over eight minutes to go. Josh Hart, handle on the rock. He'll get it to I Hart on the right wing. Here comes Brunson off the pin down. Handoff from Hartenstein. Brunson, guarded by Claxton. He'll pull up for three. Good! Jalen Brunson, heating up. Drops it in from deep off the right side. Brunson, already two threes here early. Nick's up by six. Some off-ball movement here from Cam Johnson. He gets in the paint, kicks it to Bridges. Bridges three, good. Hart with the contest. He was in a good spot. Just better offense there from Bridges. Both teams are perfect from downtown. Two of two for Brooklyn, three of three for the Knicks. Brunson drives, kicks, Chenzo three, bang! It's raining threes at MSG early on a Saturday. Nick's up by six. Schroeder. Walks it up. He's got Brunson one-on-one. -on -one. Now he uses the screen. Gets into the paint. He'll just pull up from 13. Good. Can't let him get that deep on penetration. Knicks up by four. Just under seven minutes to go. Brunson has it on that left wing. He'll throw it to DiVincenzo. He drives on Schroeder. Has it poked away. It'll be a turnover. Good active hands by Schroeder. Forces DiVincenzo to give it up. Johnson now has it on the right side. He'll give it to Claxton. Trying to get it to Thomas off ball, he does. He'll drive through the baseline, reverse layup. No good, good defense by the Knicks. Here they come. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. DiVincenzo pulls, no good. Hart saves it, but right to Bridges. Don't love that shot on a fast break. And Bridges finds Cam, Th Cam Thomas. Cherry picking on the other end. Brooklyn cuts it to two. Three-on-three -three fast break, and DiVincenzo pulls up on the left wing from 28 feet. 
Get to the cup, young fella. Brunson has it at the logo. 15 on the shot clock. Looking to use the screen for Myhart. He does. Nice pocket pass. Myhart goes all the way and throws it down with two. That pick and roll has become a lethal combination and a go-to move for the Knicks as of late. And it's successful yet again. Schroeder operating on the right side. He'll move it around. Now Bridges has it. One-on-one -on -one with Brunson. Josh Hart in the help defensive side. Forced him to give it up. Schroeder now with the skip pass to Johnson. His left corner three. Good. Once again, the double team forces the Knicks to be out of whack in rotation, and it results in another open three for Brooklyn. I don't think we need to double team Mikel Bridges. He's a really good player. I like him. If he's going to get 30, let him get 30. I'd rather him go get a tough 30 than have to find open people on the perimeter for open, easy shots. As Deuce McBride drives from the baseline, and he almost dunks it. Knicks take a three-point lead. As Schroeder goes coast to coast, his layup no good. Brunson saved it, throws it off. Schroeder, Nick's ball going that way. Good defense by JB. As we got our first TV timeout. Look at Deuce McBride. Blows by Cam Thomas from that short corner. And he just rises up and lays it up and in. I don't think we need a double team. Like, I like our help defense. I like the rotations we have after we get beat off the perimeter. When you double team, and you, it, they always do this. This was the Heat last year. A slow double. Like, that's going to let a high IQ player be able to make that skip pass like they did to Johnson in the corner. And the ball is always going to move faster than the defense. Um, I would rather Mikel Bridges shoot mid-range jumpers over Brunson than Cam Johnson open corner threes. But I'm just, I'm just a YouTuber. Make sure you guys are hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS, the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. Check them out. Win big money, withdraw your winnings, and just pick more, pick less. There's no better time to play Prize Picks as the NBA action is heating up in the women's NCAA tournament as well as the men's NCAA tournament is underway. Prize Picks also has awesome deals all the time for new and returning users. Check this one out. They have Caitlin Clark's point total for her first game today at just half a point. Select the more on that. They're pretty much giving you a freebie. And I went with Jalen Brunson more than 29 and a half points. I like where I'm feeling on that. I put $20 on this. And if I win, I win $60. You guys should check them out. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Prizepicks will match your first deposit up to $100. All that information will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's show. Support the show. Support the sponsor. Be a real one. Glitzy says Thomas gets two more rebounds and Isaiah gets seven more points. It's a cash. Hope, hope it works for you, brother. Anthony Danaher says, I hope I heart bags 20 again tonight. He's been playing really good. Him and Brunson in that pick and roll have really, really good chemistry. Here we go. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Easiest way to support the show. Subscribe and like the videos. We appreciate y'all. Anthony Daner says, Marsh, I have to admit, I cheated and watched another live when you were out. I'm so ashamed. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Hey, man. Ain't, ain't no hard feelings here. I'm confident in the work we do. I'm confident in the work we do. Uh, I know there's nobody else on YouTube that can put on a bigger show than we do here at Knicks Now uh, for live game days. And I think the proof's in the pudding on that one. <laughs> All right, Knicks up by three. Five minutes to go in the first. Brunson will walk it up. You got Bridges picking up Brunson almost 90 feet. Achua subs in early. Uh, he'll come in for Hartenstein. So it's the starters still. Brunson, Chenzo, Hart, Achua, and now McBride. Brunson off the handoff from Achua. He's doubled. He swings it to Hart. Hart's going to drive. I love that. Lays it up off the glass. No good, but Achua there to clean it up, but he missed it. But he missed it. I like Josh Hart getting active as Schroeder off the handoff. Smoked a layup. Wow. Bad defense by the Knicks. Just a worse shot there by Schroeder. Hart will bring it up. We'll get it to Brunson. Brunson guarded by Bridges. 
Has him in the right corner. Gets the screen from Achua. Now he's got Claxton on him. Work out, JP. Work out. Crossover. Gets to his right hand. Fake spin. Step away. Step through. Off the glass. Oh, he smoked it. $100 move. $0 finish. Achua with the board. He's fouled this time. He'll go to the line for two. Brunson is so good at that move where um, he'll like step back and then he'll get you to commit. And then he'll just do step through as well right there. It, the guy's footwork is incredible, man. It's incredible. David M. says, it was just one live. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> sure, sure it did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He says, I watched CK2K over on. Hey, they do great work, bro. Shout out to them. Uh, collab with KFTV. I I've hit him up before. He didn't hit me back, so we're off that. Eric Rodriguez in the chat. What's up, man? Anthony D. Exactly, Anthony. Did he just smoke both free throws? Oh, Achua smoking both free throws. Love that. Nets on offense here. Mikel Bridges has it. DiVincenzo guarding him. He'll use the screen. Gets downhill. He'll kick it out now. And that's going to be a dribble drive by Lonnie Walker. His layup high off the glass out of the left hand. Tough finish. Brunson will walk it up. Just a one-point game here. Three third, around 345 left in the first. Brunson going to be one-on-one -on -one with Schroeder. Now a screen from Achua. He's got Claxton on him. He's been hunting that matchup early in the first. Brunson's got him on skates again. Gets into the lane. Finds an open deuce. He'll swing it now to Hart. Five on the shot clock. Hart for three. No good. I would like when Brunson's just guarded by Schroeder to go to work. I don't know why we're trying to get Claxton on him. That's just more size that he's got to beat off the bounce. As Finney Smith drives and kicks, and he finds a cutting Claxton who throws it down, and the New York Knicks are down by one. Brunson will walk it up, and Tom Thibodeau will take a timeout. He is not happy. He is not happy with the defensive effort that has been going on so far. Sir Classic, same with OG. My man CPJ in the building. What's up, man? King Kush, I'm watching on the NBA app, my brother. But it is the MSG broadcast. Yeah, Johnson U, his shot, it, it looks broken again. I thought the hitch in his jumper was gone, and it was for about a week and a half, but uh, he doesn't look all that confident shooting the three as of late. CPJ says, I'm at work right now. Me too, gang. Me too. Oh, CPJ, my guy, my guy. Seabreeze, what, what, what's your takeaway here early on? I mean, the Nets came to play, and the Knicks look a little lackadaisical. I'm not going to lie. Like you were saying with the double teams, man, I mean, they're taking their time out there. The whole point of sending a double is to create urgency yep. on the other side. And they just look like they kind of just woke up. They're like rolling out of bed like, hey, we're going against the Nets today. And the Nets came ready to play, and that, it's showing it right now. I, and, like, it's the slow double. I'm okay with the double if – like you said, it's the dude coming from the backside, and he is just firing over there, hands high, active. But it's like it's this slow double where it, it just doesn't feel like they want to commit to it. It's like decide. Either yeah. double or don't. Got to commit one way or another. Like you allow Cam Johnson to shoot open three after open three. He's going to make it more times than not. He's one of the best catch-and-shoot guys in the league. Yeah. I mean, he's, I mean, the Nets got a lot of guys that can really switch, play three and D. And, yep. you know, if you let them get in a rhythm – they can shoot it, man. They can. Shooter, he can get hot. Bridges can get hot. We know Cam Johnson. Dorian Finney-Smith's a great 3 and D guy. You who says Hart is out there for cardio. Yeah, he is not. Josh Hart is hurting us. He's all right. It's all right. He had one bad game. I was very critical as well. Um, I think he's going to be all right. Hart's going to be a guy you want, you know, when we get into April, May, and yeah. potentially June. For sure. Vasquez says defense is lackluster. Yeah, just look a step slow. They look like it's a 1 p.m. tip at MSG versus a team that's out of the play-in. That's just what it looks like right now. Creed says he just needs to practice. He got too comfortable, not the end of the world. Yeah, probably right. Stewart says, I'd be watching it on sports bet. Okay. Face God says, uh, we already read that one. Josh Hart helping, actually. Andy Danaser says, how far off of a beer shotgun? We're at 51. Once we get to 100, we'll do a beer shotgun race. So 49, 49 away. Yeah, 49 bottles of beer on the wall. 49 bottles of beer. <laughs> Anthony Danaher, my man, tune in. 4 a.m. Down under. I love the Knicks. 
If I lived in Australia, I don't know if I'd watch them, though, that early. I'm kidding, I would. I'm a maniac. I have no life. All right, here we go. Three minutes to go. Nick's, up by, uh, Nick's down by one. McBride kicks. He'll swing to Burks. Burks checks in, and his shot is off. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn ball going the other way. The fact that Alec Burks is subbing in before Boyan Bogdanovich, I think is pretty telling with the way that Tom Thibodeau is somewhat feeling about him at this current moment. As Dennis Smith Jr. checks into the game, he'll drop it off. Mikel Bridges now has it, left wing, guarded by DiVincenzo, he'll use the screen, now kicks it to Walker. Walker to Smith, Smith Jr., corner try, no good. Big offensive rebound by Brooklyn. Shot is missed, rebound by DiVincenzo. He'll throw it up ahead to Hart. Hart's picked up by Dennis at midcourt. Now he'll relocate it to DiVincenzo. Chenzo comes off the screen, swings it to Deuce. Deuce to Burks. Burks drives baseline. Strong take here. He's fouled in one, Alec Burks. Strong take from the corner. Big money AB trying to keep the hot play rolling after a big time game from him against Denver. Brunson was the one who subbed out. Burks took his spot. So it's Burks, Hart, Chenzo, McBride, and Achua on the floor with 2.22 left to go. My guy, Anthony Dainer, getting himself another raffle ticket to win the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Every $10 you send in this month, we'll get you a ticket. He says, let's get there by the end of the quarter, lads. Let's go. We get to $100 in Super Chats. By the end of the first quarter, we're doing beer shotguns. Let's go. We're, at, we're up to 60 now. We're up to 60. Cam Thomas, after the missed free throw by Burks, will bring it up to Brooklyn, moving it around. Lonnie Walker drives, layup, good off the feed, and one for Brooklyn. It was Boyan Bogdanovich who got beat off the dribble drive. He immediately comes in and he starts to freaking hurt the team, man. I'm just kind of over the boy on Bogdanovich experience. Um, we could have kept Evan Fournier for all this. Could have kept Evan Fournier for all this. As Dayron Sharp was the one who converted the and one. He'll go to the line for the three-point play, and he makes it. And the Knicks are down by two. Down by two. Man, bogey stinks. Mc, 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 oh, shit. Danny! McBride brings it up. Nick's moving it around. McBride has it right side. Gets a screen. Drives into the paint. Kicks it out for an open. Burks three. And he missed it. Rebound by Brooklyn. As Danny McGrath. Bang! D. Murda in the building early on a Saturday. Showing love. My man. Dennis Smith Jr. Drive. Layup. No good. But they called a foul because he missed it. Of course they did. Of course they did. Danny McGrath. Bang! Everybody show Danny some love in the chat. He has been on fire showing love. Danny, love seeing you in the chat, man. Always bringing the energy. Trying to keep my spirits up. I need it. I need it. I'm an emotional wreck watching these games. Danny keeps me level-headed. Everybody show him some love. Let's go. John Pettit says, Boyan is only here for a trade for offseason. Let's think about it that way. Not really, though. You gave up Quentin Grimes, and you gave up picks. Yeah, no first-round picks, but you gave up second-round picks. And that's unfortunate. Second free throw for Smith Jr. is off. Rebound by the Knicks. McBride will bring it up as we have less than 90 seconds to go in the first. McBride, pull up. Three, good! Deuce McBride on a press Virginia continues to let it flow. He's been on fire. As Cam Thomas drives, his tough layup off, but another offensive rebound and put back for Dayron Sharp. This time over Jericho Sims. So you got Sims and a chew in. We're going with this double big lineup. I freaking hate it. If you're not going to run the double bigs, you can't get out rebounded. As Boyan comes off the curl and it's an offensive foul. Jesus Christ, his brother stinks. They're going to say moving screen on Sims. So much, though, of the moving screen call is set up by the ball handler. you got to give your guy a chance to, to get set. Anthony Danaher showing D. Murda some love. Shout out to Danny McGrath, a legend. There's a reason D. Murda 
is a part of our Nick Snell Ring of Honor. Shout out to him. Here we go. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Cam Thomas off the handoff. Kicks it to Lonnie Walker. His three. Good. Over boy on Bogdanovich. So Bogdanovich comes in the game. He gets beat from the corner on a dribble drive and one. And he allows another open three there. This brother stinks, man. Burks drives. Kicks. Nick's moving around. McBride. Step back. Triple. Good. If it wasn't for Deuce McBride going crazy right now, the Knicks would be getting smoked. Lonnie Walker, 20 seconds left in the quarter. About a two and a half, three second shot clock, game clock difference. Walker up top, guarded by Bogdanovich. They'll use the screen. Bogdanovich trailing. Now they'll kick it out to Thomas. Deuce on him. Go to work, Deuce. He used the screen. They're hunting Bogdanovich. Thomas blows right by him, gets an open three. He missed it. But another rebound, this time finally secured by the Knicks. And that will be the end of the first quarter. The end of the first quarter. New York Knicks are down by two. Down by two. Down by the river. Want to put the weigh-in of uh, grade, grade Knicks so far? And then um, if you want to grab those shotgun tools. The, I don't know. I haven't been able to find the actual tool. So if you just want to grab the shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> and then just want, if you do whatever you want. Just grab me a happy dad. My man. Grade the Knicks performance so far. That's a C for me. That's a C for me. You allow 30 points to the Brooklyn Nets, man. Uh, um, I didn't think that the attention to detail and the effort on the defensive end was up to par. Um, I'm cool with 28 points. I thought the offense was fine. I can't go better than the C, though. I can't go better than the C. Yeah, thir exactly, J.U. 30 points to the Nets, dog? Come on. Deuce is coming off the bench come playoffs. He needs 20-plus minutes at least. Vasquez, you 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 did not lie, brother. Um, he is he's going to make it really hard on Tom Thibodeau when it comes to this rotation. Like him trying to split the minute allotment between DiVincenzo as well as Deuce McBride, that's going to be a really, really tough decision for Tom Thibodeau, man. Um, Deuce is a better defender, but DiVincenzo has that chemistry. I think he does more as a connector on offense. I think Deuce is closing the gap on the shooting ability of DiVincenzo. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Yeah, Vasquez, he hasn't been shooting the same. He hasn't. He hasn't. 11 first quarter points for Deuce McBride. I mean, where would you be at in the season without Deuce playing the way he has? He has been excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow, Dante will continue to start, but like, how do you not play Deuce sometimes in the closing lineups? I mean, he's earned it. He's earned it. Here we go. Second quarter underway. McBride brings it up, gets a screen from Sims. Being guarded by Dennis Smith Jr. Gets it to Bogey. He'll turn it over. Please end the boy on Bogdanovich experience. Take it out back. Point a freaking gun at it and shoot it. End the boy on Bogdanovich experience. It's time for him to never play basketball again for the Knicks. Burks will bring it up after the miss by Brooklyn. He'll pick his dribble up. He'll have to get it to Deuce. Deuce will throw it to Burks. Burks going to back him down. Fall away two. No good. Out of bounds off of Chua. The Boyan Bogdanovich experiment should be over. Bad trade. Bad trade. As he gets beat off, off, off ball there. Holy fuck, dude. Get him out of the game. He doesn't. He can't play. He can't play. He cannot play. He doesn't score. He turns the ball over. He doesn't guard anyone. Like, what are you doing? 
As Burks drives and oh my goodness, he got his stuff thrown into the popcorn vendor by Dayron Sharp. No, Creed, no, he's not. After the way he's played today, he's been horrible. Uh, th th today, since he's got here. Bogdanovich, three, air ball. It's over. As Cam Thomas drives, zero step, layup, no good. Offensive rebound for Brooklyn, but they can't finish. Deuce will bring it up the right side. Go to work, Deuce. For three, Deuce! No good. Ramon Garcia says, Boyan's got mad haters. I am the furthest thing from a Boyan Bogdanovich hater. I said the Knicks won the trade deadline because of it. But as the Knicks give up a bucket there, if you play bad, you don't get praise. Like, do you think if he played good, I'd be talking bad about him? It's pretty, pretty simple. How I'm a pretty simple man. Play good, talk good. Play bad, talk bad. Bogdanovich off the curl, drops it off to Sims. Sims into the lane. They're going to say he's fouled on the ground. Going to Davies says Marsh's jinx and bogey. Yeah, it's exactly Davies. Exactly. I have that type of. I got that type of power. I got that type of power. Marsh says Marsh was really happy when we first got him. I was, because he was a good player. But now he's not, so I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from a hater of him. Bogdanovich off the curl. Throws it out to Achua. He'll launch a three. No good. I don't like the way this game's going. I do not like the way this game is going. Smith Jr. off the screen. Throws it to the corner. Finney Smith three. No good. It's going to go out of bounds off Brooklyn. It'll be Nick's ball going that way. Why do I think he's struggling? Because he can't make shots. He's turning the ball over too much. And, yeah, he's here to make shots. If you don't make shots, you're not going to be good. I don't know what it is. John Pettit says you can still root for someone while saying he's not playing bad. Do you think I'm rooting for him to miss shots, John Pettit? You do know I want the Knicks to win, right? Why would I be rooting for him to play bad? That makes no sense. Hartenstein hands it off to Bogdanovich. He'll be at the top of the key card by Claxton. He swings it to the right side to McBride. McBride's going to go all the way. Stops. He's hit. He'll go to the line for two. I don't understand that. You guys think I'm rooting against him? That's weird. I don't understand that. William Burton, what's up, man? Shout out to Darren the Tuber. What's up, Darren? Says, what the F does Bogey see in Tibbs? Or Tibbs see in Bogey? Is it wait and see? Um, I think he's just hoping he eventually starts making shots because that's what he's done his whole career. Like, all he's done everywhere he's played basketball is be a reliable three-point shooter. For some reason, since he's become a Nick, he is one of the least efficient players in the NBA. So I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know why that is. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure he's just banking on that one day he's going to start making shots. I don't know how much longer he can roll with him, though. As Schroeder will bring it up, Nick's down by four. Hands it off to Lonnie Walker. Walker drives, throws it up. Terrible pass stolen by the Knicks. Knicks have numbers. It's a five on three fast break. Hart's going to drive, swing, Burks, three. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Out to Burks. He'll try it again. Same spot. Different result. This time he makes it. A.B. Big Money Burks with a couple of buckets here in the early part of the game. Knicks cut the lead to one. Come on. At least Burks is starting to play a little better. At least Burks is starting to play a little bit better. Make sure you guys are hooked up with our proud daily fantasy sports partner. It is Prize Picks, the number one fantasy daily fantasy sports app in the game. It is prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. Put 50 bucks in your account, they'll give you 50 bucks. Put 10 bucks in your account, they'll give you an extra 10 bucks. Check it out, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Now's the time to play with the action in the NBA heating up as well as March Madness here for the men 
and the ladies, and they're actually having a special right now on prize picks. They have set Caitlin Clark's point total to half a point. Select the more on that, pair it with one more pick, and you could 3x your money. Brunson scores if Brunson scores 30 points today, as he currently sits at 6 points, I'm going to be walking away with $60 that I uh, only put $20 on the line. So check them out, prizepicks.com. So prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Support the show, support the sponsor. We want to keep them around, and we need your help to do it. So please, 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 please support them. Bogdanovich has turned into... Oh, now Burks is playing a little better, huh? I don't know, like, you guys are funny. Like, do you want me to tell you he's playing good when he's playing bad, or do you want me, you guys like it when people lie to you? Is that what it is? I don't understand. I got you, John. I got you. That makes more sense. Danny McGrath says, keep it real. I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. I'm trying. Vontae Lyle says keep it real. That's two real ones. Only the real ones want to keep it real. Exactly, FGC. It's like, oh, now Burks is playing better. Yeah, he's making shots. Like, <laughs> whatever. You guys just like to troll. I like to troll too, so I get it. Mike, it's my job. It's my job, Mike. I am an analyst. I'm a fan, but I'm also an analyst. So I have to analyze the game. Thank you for understanding. Hot dogs. Get your hot dogs while it's hot. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anthony Dana Hurst says raw dog. Hey, yo. <laughs> Fredo, two shots out of seven is not good enough. Lionel, I try, man. I try to just call the game how I see it. I'm a Knicks fan just like you guys. Um, but if I just came up here and just talked about the rainbows and the, the pot of gold and all the fun stuff, I don't think it'd be all that fun. Come on, man. Shoot. Play harder. Try harder. No one wants to hear that bullshit. Here we go. Knicks down by 1. 8.50 to go. It's Hart. It's Burks. It's Bogey. It's Hartenstein, and it is McBride still in the game. Deuce has not sat down yet. I don't think Josh Hart has either. Claxton up top, being defended by Hartenstein. Trying to get away from him. Great D. Gets it to Bridges. Bridges off the screen. Swings it. They're swinging it around now. Finney Smith finds Thomas. Two to shoot. He's going to have to let it go. He does. High off the glass and in. Cam Thomas, one of the most creative scorers in the league, gets a tough bucket to fall there to extend the lead to three with 8.20 left to go in the half. Burks will handle for the Knicks. He'll get it to Hart. Hart back to him. Burks gets downhill. He goes at Claxton. Layup no good. It's going to go out of bounds off Brooklyn. It'll be Knicks ball throwing it in from the baseline with 14 on the shot clock. It should not be a close game, Danny. It should not. Um, as Patrick Ewing is in the building and he gets a standing ovation from the Garden Faithful. Good for Ewing. Good for Pat. Love that guy. Standing ovation from the Garden Faithful. Brunson is checked into the game. He'll find Bogdanovich for three. Good! Boy, on Bogdanovich, he made a three. Hallelujah! Cam Thomas looking to get downhill. He goes out, bogey. Layup, no good. Bogdanovich fouled him. Uh, this, this team's going to be the death of me. That's what we need Bogey to do. Make some effing shots. Levi's the best. Says Bogey is a cone. He is worse than a cone on defense. He's the paint on the court. The fucker doesn't move. He's just there. You just got to get past him. Danny McGrath, the Giants are there. They're killing me, dude. Tamar says I'm funny. I'm not trying to be funny. That's the thing. That's my thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Pat eating some MSG popcorn. 
How is the popcorn at MSG? I've never had it. Anybody ever had it? I've heard that it's pretty good. I think it was Steph Curry that said the, that MSG had some of the best popcorn in all the NBA stadiums. Both free throws good for um, Brooklyn there. 38-36 now. Brunson's going to bring it up. He's got bridges on him. Now pick his dribble up and get it out to Hart. Now Hartenstein has it. He'll drive on Claxton. Gets him deep in the paint. Hook shot up and in. Isaiah Hartenstein with that push shot has been almost automatic for a week. As Schroeder throws it up to Claxton. Stolen. Bogdanovich gets it. He'll drop it off to Brunson. They're pushing. Brunson finds Deuce in the corner for three. Boom! Deuce McBride on fire yet again. And then it's going to be a turnover. Nick's ball going that way. Now we're playing with some juice. Now we're playing. Let's go. I mean, how does Deuce McBride not get 20 minutes plus game for plus a game now? He's been great. I might drop those twos for Deuce. Let's go. DiVincenzo will throw it in. He finds Hart. Hart now to Brunson. Brunson up top. Got bridges on him. Villanova on Villanova. Brunson uses the screen. Gets downhill. Fake spin move. Now he'll turn around. Fall away. No good. DiVincenzo with the board. And he cleans it up. The garbage man there to save the day. Dante DiVincenzo. <laughs> Calling a delay of game warning. And now a timeout by Brooklyn. Is this true? Let's go. Let's go. As Heart Storm Media, Terrence Myers in the building. That's my guy. What up, T Myers? Here. What up? What up? What up? What up? Heart Storm Media says Bogey is the new can't play Cantor. Now that's a random Nick. And his Cantor is a random Nick. Thing is, though, like, as, my, as critical as I am of Bogey, which I think is all, all fair, um, If he just plays to his floor, Cullen, it helps his team. Just make open shots. He's done his whole career. Yeah. I mean, when you're at the point when your salary is getting posted to where everyone can see it, you should be able to do the basis of your job, which for him is shooting. I mean, he's shot, well, everywhere he's been in his career. Why is it different in New York? I don't understand what's changed. Um, I don't know. I don't know either. And, and it's just crazy because he is like one of the best three-point shooters in the league, with debt, with Detroit, he shot 41% from three on seven and a half attempts. The year before, shot 39% from three. The year before, 41% from three. The year before, 38. The year before, 39. Then 41. Then 42 and a half. Then 40. Then 36. Then 38. Then 35. He's shooting 30% with the Knicks. Like, I don't get it. I don't, just, just make the shots, dude. Just freaking make some damn shots. Ain't that complicated. And it's like, this is probably the easiest type of looks he's getting because he was the go-to guy on a lot of teams he's played for. Like, you're wide open, just catch and freaking make a shot. Yeah, he did it there. <laughs> make sure you guys like the stream as well. Make sure we like it up. We're at 216 likes. Getting up there. If we can get to 250 by halftime, that'd be pretty cool. I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you. Hit that thumbs up icon. 650 people watching. Please, please, please hit that thumbs up icon. John says, Marsh, I agree. I still have more confidence than Boyan being a vet and shooting in the playoffs. Yeah. I don't know about Morton Grimes. Grimes didn't play good in the playoffs. That is fair. Uh, I just think that he's just a, he just does more on both ends. But look, what we thought Grimes was is what Deuce has been. So... <laughs> The only positive of the trade is there's more minutes for Deuce, I guess. There you go. Vasquez says, and Burke's slowly starting to get in there. I hope so. Ray says, Bags is playing defense and it takes a toll on him. And Is he playing defense? If he is, he may be playing defense. He ain't playing it well. Here we go. Back to hoops. Nick's up five. Just under seven to go in the half. Brooklyn has it in the half court. Mikel Bridges off the screen. Gets into the lane. His floater up and in. That's a tough shot from Bridges. Tough shot from Bridges. 
Brunson, Deuce, Hart, Hartenstein, and DiVincenzo are in the game. So the starting five back in the game for the New York Knicks. Brunson has it top of the key. Guarded by Bridges. Uses the screen from Hart. Now he's guarded by Cam Johnson. Tend to shoot. He's got him all on the side of the floor he wants. Now he kicks it out to Deuce. Deuce is going to drive on Schroeder. Hands it off to DiVincenzo. He'll have to let it go from the foul line, and he gets it to go. Tough shot from Dante off the handoff from Deuce. Five-point game. Big-time shot there. Schroeder will bring it up. Going back and forth here. As Cam Johnson now controls, gets his screen. He'll find Schroeder. Now sets one for him. Schroeder's going to attack Brunson. Blows right by him. Blocked by Hartenstein. Going to go out of bounds off Brooklyn. Nick's ball going the other way. Now we're playing with some deuce. Uh, some juice. Some deuce. We are playing with some deuce. Deuce McBride. All grit. All grind. All the time. As Mike says, when is Randall and OG coming back? That's a great question, brother. I don't know. I wish I had the answer. Uh, it's hopefully soon. Uh, you don't got much more time. Brunson for three. That's no good. Josh Hart battling for the board, but it's going to be recovered by Schroeder. I would hope with at least five games left. There's only 12 after this one. As Bridges in transition launches his three. No good. It's going to be tapped out. And recovered by Schroeder. Now Cam Johnson's open three. Way off. Wow. As that's going to be saved. But it'll go out of bounds. Nick's ball the other way. Going the other way. Shout out to Brian in the chat. What's up, Brian? Levi's the best. Mike Torres. What up, Bank? What's up, Bank? Aaron the Tuber, Joey DeLuca, Mike Thomas. Here we go. Five minutes to go in the half. Brunson will walk it up. Gets a screen. He's got bridges on his hip. He'll take him to the lane. Now finds an open deuce in the corner. Air ball. Rebound by Sims. And he's going to be, they're going to say it just got knocked out of bounds. I thought Sims got fouled there. But it'll be Nick's ball on the baseline. Good pass by Deuce, yeah. His first shot that didn't even look close coming out of his hands in a while. Brunson will throw it in. Looking to get it to DiVincenzo. He does. Chenzo for three. No good. Sims with the big offensive board and a putback, and he smoked it. He smoked a point blank putback. Wow. Schroeder now brings it up. Brooklyn moving with some pace. Coast to coast layup. No good. Blocked. Rebound by Sims. Here comes DiVincenzo. Drops it off to Brunson. Brunson back to Chenzo. He'll be guarded by Bridges. Now they'll slow it down. Brunson's going to have it. Left side of the floor. Guarded by Schroeder. He'll face them up. Now put it on the deck. Looking to go to work. Spin move. Create space. Off the glass. Up and in. Strong take by Jalen Brunson. <laughs> Schroeder's going to bring it up quickly. He'll find a man in the corner. That three. Good. Knicks didn't get back on defense. Got to get back on defense after makes. You can't allow a fast break score after a freaking make, man. Knicks moving it around. Hart to Chenzo. Now to Brunson. Brunson, top of the key. Looks like he wants a three. He'll kick it to Deuce. He wants one. He'll miss it. Deuce McBride just off from three. Rebound by Brooklyn. Here they come. It'll be Schroeder controlling. He'll find Bridges. Bridges, sidestep. Pass out of a shot there. Now he gets the pass on the block. His pass stolen. Great active hands by Brunson. It's a fast break, and DiVincenzo just dropped the fucking pass. And now Cam Johnson, transition three. Good. Knicks had a three-on-one, and DiVincenzo just dropped the pass. Chenzo and Hart just look a little bit off, man. Again. Brunson will bring it up. He's got Schroeder on him. Clear that out. Clear that out. He'll take him into the post. He's at the foul line. He just bullies him up and under footwork, blocked by Claxton. Brunson not getting back on defense, begging for a, uh, a goaltending. And then Josh Hart gets a deflection on the other end. It's going to go out of bounds off Brooklyn. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy last four possessions for both teams. Brunson wanted a goal 10, and he didn't get it. Hart will find McBride. McBride swings it to Brunson. Brunson in the corner, guarded by Bridges. He'll drive to the baseline, jump stop, finds oh, DiVincenzo in the corner, and he'll miss a three. I used to feel like whenever DiVincenzo shot a three, it was in. I haven't had that feeling in a long time. Schroeder's going to get to Johnson, now back to Schroeder. If 
Claxton has it top of the key. He'll drive here on Jericho. Spin move. Gets to his left hand. He lays it up and in. Strong take by Nick Claxton. It's tied up at 47 with 2.20 to go. Hart brings it up. He'll go all the way. Gets to the lane. And one, Josh Hart. Yes, sir. That's what we need. That's what we need. Knicks need him without OG and without Randall. They need point production from Hart. He needs to be more aggressive looking for his own shot. When he gets going downhill, he is a hard guy to stop from getting to his length, getting to the cup. He's got to continue to do it. Hart with a chance to make it a three-point game with 2.20 to go. And he missed it. He missed it. He missed the free throw. All right, here we go. 222 left to go in the first half. Knicks are shooting 38% from the field. They have 10 more shot attempts, though, than Brooklyn. Credit to the offensive rebound. Rebounding. Claxton has it. He'll dry, dribble to the right. Hands it off to Bridges. They run a pick and roll. Bridges has Hart on his hip. He'll go all the way. Floater no good. Rebound though by Schroeder. Now he gets going downhill. His layup no good. He actually dropped it off and turned it over. That's good defense by the Knicks. It's good defense by the Knicks. Six turnovers for Brooklyn this quarter. Knicks have upped their defense. Even Chenzo has it left wing. He'll get it to Sims, who swings it out to Hart. Hart has it. Looking to get it to Brunson. He'll hand it off to him. Now he'll go with Cam Johnson. Sizing him up. Looking to go to work. Takes him in the post, and he just turns it over. Oh, they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul. Thank God. Danny McGrath says the Knicks are playing like crap. They better get their stuff together. So we got to bring the energy, Danny. we got to bring it. Maybe our energy can be infectious to them. I don't, I don't love the flow of this game. As Brunson gets into the lane, he'll pull up from 10. Good. Jalen Brunson gets to his spot, rises up, and drops it. Nicks up by four with 125 to go. Schroeder controlling for Brooklyn. He gets to Thomas. Thomas goes at Deuce. Kicks it out. Bridges. Open three. Good. Josh Hart. That's kind of my thing. You're one, you're one pass away. You need to be in deny there, not helping off to stop that and allow an open three. Don't love that. Now it's a one-point game. Brunson guarded by Claxton. He'll put it on the deck. Gets to the lane. Left-hand scoop. No good. Rebound by Brooklyn. Just off there is Brunson. Now Cam Johnson goes all the way, and Brunson pokes it away. I believe they're going to call a foul on Brunson. Johnson will go to the line for two. Chance to take the lead with 51 seconds to go in the half. Randall says, do I think the Knicks should put Hart in the starting lineup over DiVincenzo? As in, like, when the team's fully healthy? I do not. Not enough shooting. Not enough shooting. First free throw for Johnson. Good. Tied at 51. Johnson. At the line, looking for one more to put his team up by one. Free throw is good. Knicks trail with 51 seconds to go. Brunson will walk it up. In fact, Hardenstein has barely played. I don't know. I guess it's the minute, minute restriction, but everybody on this team is fucking hurt, man. Brunson up top. Guarded by Bridges. Finds Chenzo in the corner. He'll launch and he'll connect. Dante DiVincenzo knocks it in from three. Knicks go up by two. 25 seconds left in the half. But an eight-second shot clock, game clock difference. You get a stop, you can get a quality look on the other end. Thomas will hold here with Deuce guarding him. Here comes a screen from Claxton. He'll go at Jericho. Knicks double. They dump it off to Claxton. Claxton back to Thomas. Thomas all the way. Lay up, up and in. Eight and a half seconds here. Knicks can get a quality look. 
McBride finds DiVincenzo. He'll bring it up. Six seconds, five seconds, four seconds. DiVincenzo, drive, layup, off the glass, up and in. Strong take by DiVincenzo. It should have been and one, but they didn't call it. 1.7 to go. Bridges from three quarters court. Good. Wow. Mikel Bridges, three quarters court shot. Good. Wow. Wow. He made it from the fucking top of the key on the other side. <sighs> That's fucking terrible, man. No. We just want to grab the stats here. And then we'll go over those. Jesus Christ, man. How the fuck does he make that shot? Danny, I feel like the basketball gods are not on our side right now. Dante, or freaking Mikel Bridges, lets that go from 70 and makes it. You let a bad team hang around, they get confidence, and they're going to feel like they could beat you. Knicks didn't come out ready to play today. Knicks didn't come out ready to fucking play. Are we a high school team right now, says Danny McGrath? <laughs> no. Wow, I cannot believe he made that. That was that was great. Yeah, you gotta respect that one, Creed. I mean, three quarters court, that motherfucker just hooped it. Carl, afternoon games are always sketchy. They are. I don't know why we do that to our team. Why do we always have to play afternoon games on the weekend? Randall says, Marsh, if Nick's fan was in the dictionary, your face would be there. <laughs> Thank you? Thank you? Maybe? Oh, wow. I cannot believe he made that. That was crazy. Wellington Davies says, why wasn't Bogey guarding Bridges on that? He was. You just didn't see him. He was. He was guarding him. That was crazy. That was wicked. That was wicked. It's okay, Marsh. It's not the end of the world. We should be all right. We're, we are hurt a little. Yeah, I know it's not the end of the world, guys. <laughs> They're funny. All right, so in the first half, 56 points, 16 assists, 29 rebounds, 21 of 51. That's a little worrisome for me that you're losing and you shot 43.5% from three. Um. Are you going to be able to stay hot in the second half? Um, you are out rebounding them, that's for sure. 29 rebounds for the Knicks, 25 for Brooklyn. You're allowing them to shoot 50% from three. I mean, prior to that, they were 6 of 13, so still around 50%. Um, yeah, I, you're, you're allowing the Brooklyn Nets to shoot 53.7% from the field. 53.7% for the field. Simply put, that's just not good enough. <coughs> just not good enough. Steven Chenzo having a good game. 14 points for him. Knicks need it for sure. Uh, good to see him start to hopefully get that confidence back rolling. Um, games in the playoffs are going to be swung off of some of these Role players for the Knicks. Like, DiVincenzo goes out there and gets hot from three. He can swing a game in his favor. 
Josh Hart, not giving you much again. I loved the take of the N1. Smoked the free throw. Um, last couple games, hasn't been looking that good. I don't know what changed. I don't know what happened. His confidence on the offensive end seems to have faded a little bit. If they're editing their own podcast, they're doing it wrong. What's up, Tony? What's up, Mason? Shout out to everybody in the building. Uh, Hart, a little bit more out of him. Hartenstein was good again, but I don't feel like he played all that many minutes. I'm looking at it right now, 11 minutes for him. Jericho Sims playing 21 minutes in the first half. That can't be right. Is that right? On well, your thing? Oh, this is... Yeah, my app is messed up. I'm like, that, that can't be right. <laughs> when we played 24 minutes, I knew he wasn't in that much. Yeah, my app's messing up for some reason. Um, Hartenstein, nine minutes, you said? Yeah, nine minutes. So still kind of going through that. Or Hardenstein's 11. Uh, Sims was nine. Okay, Hardenstein 11. So he played half the first half, essentially. Yeah, yeah they're just kind of not letting him go full full yet. I get it. Um, Brunson needs to be a little better. 4-12. Um, you need better out of him. He's the best player in the game today. You should win. When you have the best player in the NBA... In a game, you need to win. And right now, it's you just need more out of him. The shots just seem a little bit off. Do. Seems like he's also like looking for the foul versus looking for a shot. Too. Yeah. Which is a little annoying. But. I wish he would just go back. Like When the defenders beat, they're going to foul you. So just beat your defender. Mm -hmm. Just beat him. 4-12, um, that's really uncharacteristic for him. Like A bad game for him is like 45%. So right. you're gonna need a big game out of Brunson in the second half, and let, let's let's start off in the third quarter and, and let's go to work. Let's go to work. Miles McBride has been excellent. He's been excellent. Um, if, if you didn't have McBride playing the way he was, you would be getting blown out. I mean, the guys missed three shots, uh, five of eight, four of seven from three, sixteen points. Like he's he's been your best player again. One of those was a pass. I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh the air ball. There you the go. air ball. I was like, really? Oh, no, I had to, I had to click for me. You're good, man. Um, yeah. Achua, I feel like, didn't play all that much either. What do you got on yours? Mine says seven minutes. Achua, yeah, seven and a half. Yeah. Okay, they've updated it now. That okay. was weird. Yeah, Achua, he hasn't been playing as well the last couple of games either. I don't know what it is, but. It seems like. A lot of the New York, like New York's playing bigger, but yet they're not showing that they're playing bigger. Yeah, they went with the they went with that double big lineup for a good bit. Um, still, though, I feel like Brooklyn is getting to every spot they want. They're getting to every shot they want. Yeah. It's early on a Saturday. Maybe they kick it around for the second half. Danny McGrath says, "Let's start like we were a playoff team." Yeah, let's start the third quarter, and like let's let's not look back. As if you're playing for the three seed yeah. versus the team that's the eleven seed. Yep. Playing for the Knicks are playing for some today. I mean, you lose today. Um, that's not good. That's not good. William Burton, who's a three year old DJ? And is that your son, Marshall? No. That's my guy, Cullen. <laughs> Cullen has been working at Chat Sports three months now. It'll, yeah, almost three. Almost yeah. three months. Um, Seep said he didn't want to come to work today. Uh, specifically said, I don't want to see Danny McGrath in the chat. Definitely don't want to talk to William Burton. So. Uh, Seep said, I'm not going to come into work. So I was like, you know what? I'm calling up my guy, Cullen. Cullen came in to save the day. And uh, we're doing the damn thing. We're doing the damn thing. Show some love to Cullen in the chat. Um, it's his first watch party here on Knicks now. I thought we'd show him a better time. I thought we'd show him a better time. It says, these burnt bum Knicks are out of playoff contention. Yeah, and we're fucking losing. We're fucking losing. Mark K says, I'm going to call Seeps out next time. You should. You definitely should. You should. Alec Burks, two for eight. Those Piston boys, man. You just can't get that Piston stank off them. Yeah. Two of eight for Burks. One of two from Bogey. 
And like that, we don't even. Man, oh man, oh man. What's up, Will? What's up, Will? What up, what up? Danny says, wait, what? No, yeah, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger, Danny. Seep said he didn't want to see you in the chat today, so he called off work. Jay Bone says, tight game. Well, take a lead in the middle of the fourth. That piston stinks, Stewart. That shit is stanky. Criminal. I don't know what bogey's playing, but it's damn sure not good, William Burton. Damn, it's anything but good. It's anything but good. Danny says, because of me, Seep, Simps, really? That's it? I'm just messing. I'm just messing. Uh, he just got the weekend off. Just got the weekend off. He's earned it, too. Working hard. Yo, Marsh, playing with the Knicks in my career. 2K20 Fears, mad fun as a center. I used to be a big 2K guy. And then, like, one year, I just thought it fell off, and I kind of got, kind of grew up and got busy. But I, I don't, I bought it this year. I don't play it, though. I sometimes will go and play with a healthy Knicks team so I can remember what that team feels like. <laughs> They're so good when healthy. Will we ever get there? I don't know. I don't know. Danny, I don't know, Danny. I don't know. Tony says, um, he said at the center last year. I did shooting guard to play with Brunson this year. Shimaster says, 2K post 19 sucks. Yeah, I, I, I thought it's fallen off. I thought it's fallen off. Definitely. Anthony Danaher in the chat showing love. Stewart says that, yeah, it's incredible. Bogey hit a three, best day ever. Don't see that ever. <laughs> yeah. John says Randall is a beast. Yeah, Randall in 2K is crazy. He can just get that get downhill. They got him super athletic on there. Bogey is overrated. Yeah. Um, yeah, he has not looked good. He has not looked good. Still at halftime here as the teams are warming up, getting ready to roll in this second half. Bring back NBA Live. NBA Live was the game back in the day. That was before 2K was even a thing. I liked NBA Live. Remember that one year you could do the dunk contest and you could do double through the legs dunk? That was sick. Johnson U says, is Boyan's contract guaranteed next year? Is it a team option? Do we even pick it up? Let me check. Let me check. Boyan Bogdanovich. Contract. It's partially guaranteed. Partially guaranteed. Um, it doesn't tell me. Only $2 million is guaranteed. So, pretty much a team option. Pretty much a team option there. Um, I think they'll pick it up just so they can use that money to match in a trade. But, man, his play has not earned him $20 million. That's for sure. That's for sure. Greetings from Japan, 3 a.m. here. Greetings, Mike. Greetings. We got Japan, Australia. We got everybody. Do we want to knock out this shotgun real quick? We can do that. Let's knock out this beer shotgun while we're still at halftime. We're at $113 in Super Chats. If we get to $200, we'll do another. Here's the deal of the day. Every $100 Super Chat that comes in, we're going to do some beer shotguns. Beer shotguns every 100 Deal. We in? Capiche, capiche? 95 was wild. I love that. NBA Live, 95. I can't say I played that one. Can't say I played that one. I would have been uh, not even born because they usually do NBA Live. Come, 95 comes out in 94. Let's do it. I'll take. What do you want? I'll take this grape, John. Have you done the shoddy? All right, so you got to put it in like this to where this tab, because uh, what happens is you want to put it to where this will go through here. Uh, this close to that. No, because we want it to close it, and then you want this guy to be able to punch through the tab. The uh, top of the tab, I guess, should be on this side. Exactly. Wait. Yeah, exactly. All right. 
So you close it up like that. And then what you're going to do is pause. You're going to want to cock it, but then you're going to have to like kind of like push it out because if you just go like that, it's going to get stuck. So it's and then once you pull this, it'll start flowing. Are right, you ready? Next time, next hundred, we got another one. Here we go. Shot to the real ones. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was brutes. Really? You got to pull it like kind of hard. Oh! <laughs> this one's rolling in from Danny McGrath. Bang! Bang! A hundred dollar super chat from Danny. Do, do, do. D murder. CPJ, I had to say pause. I had to. You know me. I always try to cover my bases. I always try to cover my bases. Eric Trump coming in with a $20 super chat. He says, let's effing go, Knicks. F Rolly. Always F Rolly. Always F Rolly. Then shot to Danny McGrath. Deal. Two for halftime. Come on, let's back up our Knicks. Next CV timeout, we got another beer shotgun for Danny. As the second half is underway, the New York Knicks started with the bucket, but then Mikel Bridges comes back and he answers with a bucket. 59 58. DiVincenzo gets a screen here from iHeart. He'll pull up for three. No good, too strong. Excuse me, long rebound by Cam Thomas. He'll pull up. Now he'll swing. I thought he wanted it. He didn't take it. He'll set a screen for Schroeder. Now he'll use the screen from Claxton. Schroeder in the paint, navigating. Missed the layup. Claxton's going to be fouled on the putback, though. Anthony Daner coming in. He says, that's it, lads. Love your work. Julio says, yo, y'all should be hitting some wide ball. I have no idea what that means, bro. No idea what you mean by that, dude. Uh, not sure. I have no idea what it is, but I don't know if we, if we could do that legally. Send you slack. Just check that. Oh man, that was the first thing in my stomach. Nothing like a breakfast full of happy dad, man. Danny McGrath says, "Come on, bang now, Knicks." Is someone matching Danny McGrath's energy? Who's got Danny's back? Who's got Danny's back? Jalen Brunson has it. Right wing. He's going to drive on Bridges. Gets to the lane. Lays it up and in. Strong take from Jalen Brunson. David M. says, I really don't know who Rolly is, but yeah, F. Rolly. You don't even know who he is. He's a scumbag and he's a Heat fan. Always type F. Rolly. He's a scumbag Heat fan from New York. Bridges up top. Plays catch with Claxton. Guarded by Hart. He'll have to give it up. Now swings to Schroeder. Schroeder drives. Swing. Three. Johnson. No good. Rebound by the Knicks. Here comes Brunson. Bringing it up. Guarded by Schroeder. Has the whole left side of the floor to himself. Go to work, JB. They're going to call a foul on Schroeder. We do lose when we, say, when we don't say F. Rowley. Agreed. Wellington Davies says DM is more consistent than a douche jumper. Danny McGrath, a legend. Brunson up top, gets a screen from iHeart. Now he's got Claxton on him. He's got the big switch. He'll pull it out, go to work, crossover, gets to his left hand, floater up, off the glass, no good. iHeart taps it up. Josh Hart taps it up, but then it's collected by Cam Thomas. Here he comes. Thomas in transition for three. No good. Long rebound secured by DiVincenzo. Dante will bring it up as we're tied at 60. Knicks will feature Brunson here on the left wing, guarded by Bridges. Drives to his right, swings to Chenzo. Chenzo to McBride. McBride, three. No good. Rebound by Brooklyn. Bridges was the one that grabbed it. He'll bring it in. Being guarded by Dante. He'll swing it to Cam. Cam to Schroeder. Schroeder on the left side. 
Deuce right there. Him and Claxton play catch. Deuce on his hip. And they're going to call an offense or a foul there on McBride. That was a moving screen. Luis says, do you have F. Rolly shirts? We might need to get them. We might need to get them. Who would buy an F. Rolly shirt? Who would buy an F. Rolly shirt? I think it'd be pretty cool. I, I, I'd buy one. Anthony says he'd buy one. That's all I need, as long as one person bought one. Bridges hands it off, gets it back, kicks it out. Good defense by DiVincenzo as Cam Thomas flops and gets a call. Xavier says, I would, I would buy it. Bank says, yes. <laughs> Eric Trump says, I would buy two. And Eric Trump coming in with a $10 super chat. Joey D said, F, Rolly. Joey DeLuca, that's my brother right there. Eric Trump, you're a legend, bro. You're a legend, man. When I grow up, I want to be like Eric Trump. One of the biggest hearts I know. That dude's Matt. That dude is major. Shout out to Eric Trump. Maybe we make some F. Rolly shirts for the playoffs. If we play the Heat, imagine everyone wearing F. Rolly shirts. That'd be electric. As both free throws are good for Thomas. Knicks trail by two with nine minutes left to go in the third. <laughs> Brunson will walk it up. Bridges picking him up. Going to get a screen from Deuce. Trying to get that Cam Thomas switch. They did. Then Bridges recovers. Brunson. Herky-jerky crossover into the lane. Now he kicks it out to Hart. Five on the shot clock. Hart guarded by Bridges. He relocates it to Brunson. Brunson one-on-one -on -one with Thomas. Sidestep. Swing to Deuce for three. No good. Deuce followed a shot, got a rebound, got to the lane, laid it up and in. Strong take by Deuce McBride. Deuce up to 18 points on 11 shots. Kid's cooking. He's also doing a good job on Thomas. Thomas will try to size him up here. Jab step, puts it on the deck, gets downhill. Layup blocked. Knicks have a numbers in transition. Hart's going to go all the way. Lays it up and in. Strong take Josh Hart. That's what I'm talking about. Three, get downhill. <laughs> Jorge says, I stopped cooking to say I would buy two F. Rolly shirts. Let me talk with the bosses. Schroeder to Claxton. Claxton back to Schroeder. Schroeder kicks it back out. Thomas, three. And they're going to call a three-second call on the Knicks or on... Brooklyn. I don't know what the call there was. Hart, strong take, man. Oh, it's going to be Nick's ball. I guess offensive three seconds. We'll take that. We'll take that. I thought he traveled anyways. They don't call that in the league, though. Nick's up by two. 7.45 to go. Brunson guarded by Schroeder. Go to work. He'll take him into the post. He's at the foul line. Backs him down, and he traveled. He traveled. The F. Rolly shirts, huh? Y'all would buy those? Let me see what I can cook up. Yeah, he switched his pivot foot there. We got 700 people watching. If you could, please hit the thumbs up icon. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Mikel Bridges, guarded here by McBride. Going to get screen from Claxton. He'll swing it out to Schroeder. Schroeder, open three. Good. Brunson. Like was bad off ball. Like Brunson is, was off ball, right? Bad defense off ball there. Fell asleep. Knicks back down by one. It's been a back and forth ball game. A lot of lead changes. Knicks need to deliver that knockout punch. Brunson to DiVincenzo. Chenzo drives. Now creates some space. Goes up with it. Shot no good. But I are battling for the board. He'll be fouled. It'll be the Knicks ball on the baseline. Knicks. Ball on the baseline. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. They just don't seem to fully be locked in right now. They're sleepwalking through this game right now. They are. They they, they look like they don't really want to cook. Brunson up top. One-on-one -on, -one on Bridges. He'll drive. Has a step. Layup smoked. Rebound by Hart, though. 
Drop off to Hardenstein. His push shot up and in. That dude's been automatic on that push shot. That push shot from Hardenstein has become automatic. As the Knicks are trying to guard here, Bridges will drive, drops it off to Claxton, stolen! Hardenstein, and then he throws it away. Now Camp Thomas drives, kicks, Bridges, open, corner three, good. Come on, man. Yeah, they're turning the ball over a lot. Hart swings to Chenzo. Chenzo in the corner, guarded by Schroeder. He'll size him up, beats him baseline. He'll drive, kick, swing. Hart, open three. And no good. Bridges swings to Schroeder. Schroeder to Finney Smith. Finney Smith drives on Brunson. Good defense there by JB. Bridges drives on now McBride. He'll force to be giving it up. Five on the shot clock here. Schroeder guarded by Hart. Step back. Triple try. No good. Rebound by Dante. Two-point game. 5.30 to go. Brunson walks it up. He'll go all the way. Brunson into the lane. Float her up. No good. In and out for Brunson. He's off. Bridges will bring it up. He's trying to get downhill. Steven Chenzo doing a good job moving his feet. Bridges throws up a crazy floater and it falls. Nick's down by four. Timeout, Knicks. Timeout, Knicks. Do the Knicks know what it is at stake right now? I hate the way they're playing. I hate the way they're playing. Well, we go, do go to our first TV timeout here of the third quarter. I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Price Picks. Go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS and Price Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Put 50 bucks in your account, they'll give you a free 50. Put 10 bucks in your account, they'll give you a free $10. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. It's easy, fun, exciting. Daily fantasy sports. All you do is select more or less on a player's stats, and you do a lineup of two to six players. They also have awesome deals for new and returning users, like Caitlin Clark at half a point. She's going to score. So take the more on that. Pair it with somebody else. I thought Brunson was going to have a big game. Still plenty of time for that. But I don't love the way it's looking right now. That's why I use the promo code CLNS, though. So you give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. All that information will be clickable down in the live description. So check them out. Get hooked up. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Knicks are sleepwalking. <sighs> So this is my first Knicks watch party, but like, I gotta ask, how do you feel about Tom Thibodeau as like a halftime adjuster, like game to game? How do you feel about him? Um, adjuster, I don't think he's the best in-game adjustment guy. The Knicks are one of the best teams in the league when it comes to having a lead after the first quarter, so I think that comes down to being able to adjust on the fly, but... I don't see any. I don't think they adjusted at all at halftime. Like it's the same thing. Um, not ideal. I, I think he needs to have his team more ready to play as well. You're playing a Brooklyn Nets team that's playing for ping pong balls at this point. We're trying to play for the three seed, and we're losing to a team that's not going to win 40 games this year. They got to turn it up. They got to turn it up, man. As my guy Bill. Shout out to Bill Peter, friend. We appreciate it, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. It says, the lack of spacing without OG is atrocious. Different team on offense and defense. Yeah. A hundred percent agree with you, brother. Knicks are one of the best teams in the NBA when Ananobi plays. There's 15 and, they're 15-2 and two when he does. I don't know what's going on right now. 
Brunson has it, drives, kicks it back out to DiVincenzo. He'll be guarded by Schroeder, five on the shot clock. Now Bridges switched onto him. He'll clear it out, crossover, gets to his left hand, layup, off the glass, up and in, strong take by DiVincenzo. Bill Peterfriend, they do not look locked in right now. It's only a two-point game, plenty of time to put it into gear, but at some point, it's got to be now or never. As Dayron Sharp has it top of the key, drops it off. Jumper good from Cam Thomas. It seems like they are getting every single offensive look they want to succeed. Josh Hart will bring it up. Guarded by Finney Smith. They're going to get it to Jericho Sims, who's beyond the three-point line. Sims hands it off to Brunson. Now he'll use that screen. Brunson doubled off of it. They're blitzing the screen heavily. He's going to face up on Mikel. He'll just take a 17-footer. No good. He looks terrible. Jalen Brunson looks terrible. Bridges now in transition, trying to go. He's doubled by the Knicks. And now Schroeder off the catch, swings it to Thomas. Thomas, left wing three, in and out. Rebound by Brunson. Go! Go! Brunson looking. Kicks. Knicks swing. McBride, corner, triple. Good! <laughs> Their half-court defense there being the Nets has been good. So if they're not set, run! Schroeder off the screen, gets to the foul line, beats Brunson to the lane, lays it up and in. Brunson has been terrible today. Brunson has been terrible. He can't guard anybody. He can't score. <sighs> Brunson's going to drive on Bridges. Flops for a foul, missed it, but he got his own rebound. Stop fucking flopping, dude. Jesus Christ. I hate the player he's becoming. Never did that shit before. Just play! Wide open three for Brooklyn. Missed it. Lucky. Hart will bring it up. Find Steven Chenzo for three. No good. Cam Thomas, coast to coast. Pull up in the paint. Jumper no good. Hart with the board. Go, Josh. Go. It's a two-on-two. -two. He finds Chenzo, who drops it off to Brunson for three. Good! About damn time! About time! You're the best player on the floor by far. Play like it. Stop crying all the time. This isn't the Hawks. Freaking Trey Young always crying. Cam Thomas kicks, bridges three. No good rebound by Hart. Run! Here they go. Three on three break. Go all the way, Josh. Finds Brunson in the corner. He swings. Nick's moving it around. McBride open three. Rebound. Out of bounds. Off the nets. It's going to be Nick's ball. The garden is looking to erupt. Begging for someone to hit a big shot. Knicks just can't find that knockout punch right now. Top dog, RLG, coming in with a super chat. This Knicks, this Knicks team seriously lacks the killer instinct that the very best teams have. They're making Brooklyn look so much better than they are. That's supposed to be Brunson. Brunson is the head of the snake. He's your best player. I'm the biggest Brunson fan there is. I think he's been fishing for fouls too much. Like every time he goes to the lane, Cohen, and he misses, he looks at the ref. Looks at the ref. I need a call. I need a call here. No, just go. You can't be looking for the call, man. It's just, that's just not winning basketball. It's not setting a good tone for your team. It but, doesn't work in the playoffs either. Look at James Harden. Yeah, it's true. Just go, man. You got Dennis Schroeder guarding you. Yeah, this is, and they're not even sending their best guys at him, to be honest. Like, yeah. I just, like Finney Smith's not guarding him. Bridges yeah. isn't guarding him. Cam Johnson's not guarding him. They're not sending anybody really with length unless he's getting a switch and he's trying to attack Claxton. So it's just take him, man. Yeah. I agree. I just feel like he just, I don't know, got really hot on the West Coast trip. He was dominant. He was dominant. But tonight, 7-21. Seven 7-21. To seven to yeah. McBride with 21. Where would you be without Deuce McBride? Where would they be? Yeah, McBride's fatigued. I mean, listen, man, it's, it's the NBA. Like, you're paid to keep yourself in good condition for these points. And you didn't play since Thursday. Like, you had a day off. I don't, I don't love when people say that. I don't get that. 
Danny McGrath says, just effing dominant. We need you. Like This is one of those games that this should be a tune-up game. This should be one of those games where the Knicks are trying to maybe try some stuff, you know, trying to get in the flow of everything, maybe understand, like, okay, once we get OG, you know, Mitchell Robinson, Julius Randle back, we can maybe try these things when they get back. This is... This I mean, shouldn't be a grinding out type of no, game. Absolutely not. Men obese, it's easy for you guys to say when you're not the one getting beat up. These MFers are rock solid and will hurt you. Uh, yeah, sure. But my thing is this. You haven't been getting calls all year. So why do you continue to complain about them? That would be like if you're at work and you're a sales guy and you continue to call the same person to get a deal done and they don't do the deal with you and you're like continuing to go back with it and you're trying the same tactics. Try something new. Definition of insanity, man. You're doing the same thing. If we lose, it's Simp's fault. Dead. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. Nick's up by two. Two minutes to go. McBride throws it in. He finds Chenzo. Chenzo to Sims. Sims now handing it off to Devin Chenzo. He just threw it away. Oh, he knocked it out of bounds. Thank God. Thank God. That's what I'm saying, top dog. He sh it's really hard to say anything bad about Brunson. But as someone who I think is his biggest fan is me, I, I feel like I can say that as Devin Chenzo just turns it over. How many turnovers are they at? Eight turnovers? Seven now. I'm saying seven. All right, here we go. 153 to go in the third. Smith Jr. He'll find Sharp, top of the key, trying to get it to Thomas. He can't. Good deny defense by McBride. Now he hands it off to Lonnie Walker. Walker, guarded by DiVincenzo, five on the shot clock. Move your feet, hands high. Walker from deep. No good. Rebound by Hart. That was great defense by the Knicks here. McBride will bring it up. Deuce is going to go all the way. McBride into the lane. Lays it up and in. Knicks up by four. It's McBride, Chenzo, Hart, Sims, and Burks in the game. Brunson has sat down. Finney Smith Jr. drives, kicks. Finney Smith, corner three. No good. That's going to be an offensive foul on Brooklyn. Knicks ball going the other way. As my guy Michael Henderson coming in with a $5 super chat. What up, Mike? Is McBride the new Grimes? Man, he looks good. He has been great, Michael Henderson. He's been better than anything we could have expected out of him. And I think he, he is playing like a lot of people thought Quentin Grimes could. 100% agree. DiVincenzo drives to the cup. Euro step. Reverse layup and in. Strong take by the big ragu. Six-point lead. Knicks are on a 9-0 run. He is. He's got to put more pressure on that front of the rim, man. He's too athletic and too quick of a first step to just be a catch-and-shoot guy. Cam Thomas off the catch. Drives on Sims. Sims moving his feet. He's doubled in the corner. Pass deflected. Stolen by the Knicks. Burks has it. Go! Great defense by Sims right there. Burks being hounded by Dennis Smith Jr. Gets a screen from Jericho. Now settle for a good shot. You don't need the two for one. It's not possible. Well, Burks just jacks a three. Turn right, he turns left. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, dog. It's a terrible shot from Alec Burks. Shot clock turned off. Seven seconds to go. Cam Thomas guarded by Deuce. Crossover. Knicks foul. They had one to give. They had one to give. It'll be Brooklyn ball. Side out of bounds. Five and a half seconds left in the hat in the quarter. What the fuck was Burks doing? There was 14 seconds on the shot clock. We were already at 28 seconds left in the quarter. The two for one is dead. Five and a half to go. It's Hart, Deuce, Ragu, Sims, and Burks. Sharp has it. Gets it to Bridges. Bridges drives, kicks. That's a shot clock violation. Cam Thomas makes it from three. I believe that was at the moment they are counting the Cam Thomas three. Oh, it's good. It's good. Cam Thomas beats buzzer. That's good. Cam Thomas buzzer beater three. Two buzzer beaters for the Brooklyn Nets through three quarters. All 
I don't know, man. Like, that's, you guys should finish this one out. Like, I know I understand two shots at the end of the quarter have not gone your way, but, like. What the hell? That's just. God, dude. I, I know Marsh is kind of uh, going through it right now, but, hey, just a reminder, like the video, we're at 322 likes. We got time, man. If we can get 400 likes. That'd be huge. That'd be really huge for the program. So make sure you support the show. Hit that like button. I mean, Marsh is put on a good show right now. Nick's, not so much, but hopefully they'll clean it up in the fourth quarter. Since they got to, man. You're up three. After. There's no reason you should lose this game. None. You have a three-point lead going into the fourth. The Knicks are one of the best teams in the NBA when starting the fourth quarter with a lead. They're at home. They're at home. They're at Just finish the job, man. I know it's not that simple, but just got to finish it. Got to close out. Because, I mean, ultimately, like, if you can't close out a team like the Nets at home on a Saturday when it's an afternoon game, what do you think the playoffs are going to be like? I get it that you're down a couple guys. But you got to finish the job, man. 100% agree, brother. They got to get it done. It's just got to get it done. No excuse. I don't care that you don't have Randall. I don't care that you don't have OG. I don't care that you don't have Mitchell Robinson. Get it done. Get it done. Yeah. I mean, two straight buzzer beaters is tough. You're still winning. You're up three points going into the fourth. Yep. Got to close it out. You win this quarter, you win the game. Plain and simple. Exactly. Great point. You win this quarter, you win that game. Come on, get it done. Just get it done. Just get it done. Find a way. Good teams find ways to win. Bad teams find ways to lose. And there's a good team and a bad team playing. Let's see if they show their true colors. Here we go. Fourth quarter underway. Dennis Smith Jr. for three. Good. Well, now we're tied at 80. Horrible way to start the fourth. Tied up at 80. It's DiVincenzo, Hart, Sims, Burks, and McBride in the game. 10 on the shot clock. DiVincenzo has it. He's going to get his screen. Now he doesn't use it. Now we're just ISOing. DiVincenzo gets the lane, lays it up and in. Strong take from the big ragu. Cam Johnson has it in the corner. Get it to Claxton. Claxton goes right at Sims. And he missed it. Big rebound by Jericho. Good D. Here comes Dante. Pushing the pace. He'll pull up. Transition three. Bang! Dante DiVincenzo. The big ragu. He's got 23s. Three of eight from distance. Cam Thomas. Going to get it to Claxton. Now hand it off to him. We'll use the screen. Gets downhill. Great defense by Sims to cut off the drive. Now deuce on him. He'll swing it to Lonnie Walker. His triple. No good. Rebound by Josh Hart. Push it, Josh. Here he goes. All the way. Go. And he gives it up. Back to Dante. Maybe you let Dante cook. He'll come off the screen. Step back. Hezzy. Reverse. Lay it up and in. Dante DiVincenzo's in his bag early in the fourth. Timeout, Brooklyn. Let's go, Knicks. Cullen, you said it. When he's getting downhill, he's special. That's what I'm talking about, man. Two, don't settle. Two really good takes to the rim by DiVincenzo. He did like a little step back, Hezzy, and he froze and put it on the deck. Left-hand scoop. Possession before the reverse. DDV, baby. Dante DiVincenzo, the big rat guru. We need him, baby. We need him. He is Vasquez. He's playing like it. While we do go to a quick TV timeout, I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to this link, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. Now is the time to play Prize Picks. With the NBA action heating up in the playoffs around the corner, and both March Madness tournaments going on, women's and men's. 
They also give you awesome deals for new and returning users. Right now, they have Caitlin Clark's total at half a point. Take the more on that. Pair it with one other play. If you get them both right, you can win 3x your money. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Let's go Knicks. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're right there. SEC coming in with a $10 super chat. Let's go, Knicks. Can't wait to see this team at full strength. Shout out to my guy, EC. That gets my brother a ticket in the raffle to win this signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Every $10 in the super chat you send in this month will get you a ticket to win this. Vasquez says, Do Devo has a layup package I wasn't aware of. What's crazy is, before coming to the Knicks, Steven Chenzo was one of the least efficient finishers around the rim in, in the NBA, and it seems like he's coming to the Knicks, and he's definitely gotten better in that area. I'm actually going to pull the numbers on that real quick. In 2022-2023, Devin Chenzo from... Devin Chenzo at the rim last year. Devin Chenzo at the rim last year shot 55%, or this may be this year. No, yeah, last year 55%. This year, he is shooting 57%. So... He's definitely got better in that area. I mean, he's got the athletic talent. I mean, like you said, like he just is able to get to his spot wherever he needs to against a lot of really tough matchups tonight. And when he doesn't settle, he creates so many better opportunities, more efficient opportunities for the Knicks. Yep. You just got to keep doing him that. At the rim last year, he shot 76 shots. He's already up to 142 this year. So he's definitely putting more of an emphasis there. And he's higher volume and higher efficiency. That's what you like to see. Seven point game, 10 minutes to go. Nick Claxton on the left wing, hands it off to Thomas, drops it off to Claxton, poked away by DiVincenzo, it'll go out of bounds, off the Knicks, Brooklyn ball on the baseline, five to shoot. All right, five seconds here. Move your feet, do not foul. It's Burke, Sims, DiVincenzo, Hart, and McBride in the game. That looks like Schroeder will throw it in from the left corner. Burke's guarding the inbound. He'll get it into Bridges. Bridges guarded by Hart, and they called a foul. That's pretty soft. That's pretty soft. That's pretty soft, if you ask me. Oh, my God. Bridges with the flop, dude. Shot clock will get reset to 14 here. Because Tibbs is not happy with that call. Bridges will throw it in. He'll find Claxton. Claxton hands it off to Johnson. DiVincenzo on his case. case swings it around to Schroeder. Six on the shot clock. Schroeder drives to his left. Picks his dribble up. Finds Johnson. Johnson's going to drive on DiVincenzo. Floater off the rim. No good block by Hart. Claxton had to put back. Hart met him at the rim. DiVincenzo now has it. He'll swing it around to Deuce. 15 on the shot clock. Deuce to Sims. Sims back to Deuce. Deuce in the mid-range. Pulls up. Missed it. Hart with the offensive rebound. Goes up and in. Knicks up by nine. Let's go, Knicks. 9-0 run in the last two minutes for New York. The real New York team. Bridges. He's going to drive to the left. Step back. Jumper. No good. Rebound. Right back to Bridges. His three. No good. Rebound by Hart. Knicks getting lucky with the way the ball is bouncing. I'll take it. Nine minutes left to go in the fourth. I'd continue to run with this unit. They're playing balls to the wall. I love it. McBride, jab step, drive to Chenzo from the corner. Good! Dante DiVincenzo is heating up in the fourth. Knicks up by 12. 8.50 to go. Let's go, DiVincenzo. 10 points this quarter, 28 in the game. Carry us to the finish line, Dante. Schroeder drives. He beats Burks. Blocked by David Genzo. He comes from the weak side. Now McBride pushing. He finds Dante. He'll kick it to Sims. Sims back to David Genzo. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Sims on the screen. Oh, set your feet, big fella. Set your feet. 
Can we get zeros in the chat for DiVincenzo? Can we get some zeros in the chat for Dante? Comes over weak side, Cullen, from the opposite corner to send Schroeder's stuff the other way. That's winning basketball right there, man. Schroeder trying to answer. He'll give it up. Here comes Cam Thomas. He'll drive to the left. DiVincenzo on him. Thomas is going to back him down. Playing great defense. Force him into a tough shot. He missed it. Oh, they called a foul. Don't reward bad basketball with fouls. Come on, man. Come on. This is one of Dante's best games I can remember. He's playing really well. He's playing really, really well. You have Brunson struggling from the field. No OG, no Randall. You need someone to turn it up on the offensive end. You need more point production. DiVincenzo said, I got it. Said, I got it. I'm with you, Davies. I'm with you. Dana says Devo got the juice. Who got the juice? Devo got the juice. Has Bogdanovich played in the second half? I don't think Bogdanovich got in the game in the third. And the Knicks already made some substitutions to start the fourth. The starters are back in the game. It's Brunson, it's McBride, Hartenstein, Hart, and DiVincenzo. Bogdanovich has not played. DiVincenzo, corner three. That one no good. Rebound by Claxton. He'll put it on the deck and he'll bring it up himself. Oh, double dribble. That's a double dribble. Fucking call it. Are you kidding me? That's a joke. Cam Johnson, three, no good. Ball don't lie. Sorry, ass refs. Here comes Brunson. He'll bring it up. Guarded by Bridges. Hesitation. In and out dribble. He falls. Able to recollect it. Look to get it. DiVincenzo on the backdoor cut. Who finds Arnstein? Pump fake. Throws it down. Patience is a virtue. And it got... Frickin' Arnstein the flush that time. Johnson brings it up quickly, drops it off. Schroeder, three, in and out, no good. Rebound by Josh Hart. Knicks up 12, seven minutes to go. Claxton picks the ball up like this and then put it on the deck again, and the ref said, clean. McBride swings to Brunson. Brunson crossover, drop off to Arnstein. The push shot, oh, he missed it. He'd been automatic on that, but he missed it this time. Under seven minutes we go. Knicks up 12. Bridges finds Johnson. Deuce guarding him. Great defense here. Johnson can't get it to where he wants to. Has to give it up. Now Bridges drives. They play catch. No one can get a move. Johnson drives. And that's going to be a block on freaking McBride. I thought that was a charge. What does it say that Boyan Bogdanovich doesn't play in the second half in a game with no OG and no Randall? When, how is he going to play in the playoffs? Maybe he doesn't. And that means you traded Grimes and picks for a player who's not playing in the playoffs. Would love to know what other trades were on the table at the trade deadline. Yeah, it would have been so dumb to trade for DeJounte Murray. Would have been so dumb. Johnson at the line for two with 6.40 to go. Chance to cut it to 10. First free throw, good. First free throw, good. Wellington Davies, says McBride, 41 minutes, man of steel. I, I say it all the time. Nobody empties the tank more than, than Miles McBride when he comes on the floor. All grit, all grind, all the time. Both free throws are good for Johnson. We've got a 10-point game. Brunson will walk it up with 6.30 to go. Close the door in their face, JP. They'll move it around to McBride. McBride back to Brunson. Brunson's going to be guarded by Schroeder. Clear it out. Hesitation. Now he's got it in his right hand. Step back. 18-footer. Off. Off. Rebound by Schroeder. Brunson has been terrible today. He'll be guarded by McBride. Comes off the screen. Drop pass to Finney Smith. Now back to Dennis, who swings it around. Brooklyn moving around the perimeter. Bridges has it on the left wing. Ten seconds to shoot. He'll get a screen from Dorian Finney Smith. He'll put some pressure on Iheart. Crossover. Drop off pass. Nice tap pass by Dorian Finney Smith to Schroeder for three. He missed it. That was an excellent pass by Dorian. The Nets have not made a field goal in six minutes. That defensive intensity has turned up. Brunson, one-on-one -on -one with Bridges. Gets a screen. 
Moving it around. Hart to Chenzo. Chenzo back to Brunson. Five on the shot clock. Brunson puts it on the deck. Gets it in the lane. Floater. Up. Smoked. Rebound by Hart, who saves and gets it to Deuce for three. Bang! Deuce McBride is unbelievable. He's been the best player again. They're up 13. He's got 26. Finney Smith controlling for Brooklyn. Dribbles to his left. Backdoor pass cut off. Great defense by Hart. They'll have to relocate it to Schroeder. Five on the slot. shot clock. DiVincenzo guarding him. Puts it on the deck. Drives blocked by Hardenstein. Ball's loose. Recovered by Brunson. It's a Villanova fast break. And Josh Hart wasn't even paying attention. He almost got pegged in the head by DiVincenzo. Knicks slow it down in the half court. Brunson has it. Left wing. He'll face up on Thomas. Puts it on the deck. Ripped through. Looking for a foul. Doesn't get it. And then he looks at the ref after missing it. How about you just stop playing like a hoe? How about that? Brunson with the steal, or DiVincenzo with the steal. Brunson finds Iheart for the dunk. The fact that you're up 15 in the fourth despite Jalen Brunson is incredible. And there he is crying to the ref. Stop crying, man. You're too good for that. Always crying. Always yapping. Make a shot. Make a shot. What up? 15 point lead going into the fourth quarter. We still got a goal to reach. We got 372 likes. We can get to 400. That's happening. So hit that like button if you're watching the stream right now. Also, if you want to share the stream with a friend, we're having a good time here. We're going to get in some more beer shotguns. Let's join the family, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Get in on the action. Shout out to my man C Breezy doing a hell of a job in today's game. Can we get some CBs in the chat? Show my man Cullen some love. As Danny McGrath says, it's murder time. D. Murda in the building. That's my guy. Hector says, I'm so glad they kept Deuce. Simmons, I know, I know. There's no one that's ever said more nice words about Jalen Brunson than me, and I'm getting tired of the way he's complaining and fishing for fouls. There's no fish in the lake. Stop crying. We got 400 likes. Let's go. 400 likes. Let's ride. Let's ride. We're at $270 in Super Chats. Deal of the day was if we got to $500, we're doing a beer boot race. Cullen is the best beer boot racer, second best beer boot racer we have here at Chat Sports. I think he can give Chugs a run for his money. Just needs a couple more reps in the offseason. Down to bring it to Knicks now, too. Just need that money. Set the goal. We do got some beer, shotguns coming up, probably whenever this game is over. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to send in, support the show, greatly appreciate it. Let's go. So I tweeted out, I said, Jalen Brunson crying to the refs way too much. This has been a thing every game, it seems like. I said, just who? Someone responds, give Bro a break. He's been fouled numerous times. It gets frustrating. If they aren't calling it, it's not a foul. If you watch this show, you know how big of a fan I am of Jalen Brunson. You know how I feel about him. Danny McGrath says, what's it at? We're at 270. If we get to 500, we're going to do a beer shotgun race, or a beer boot race. Still got some beer shotguns coming all the way, too. But if y'all want to get into that, it's every 100. Yeah, we're doing every hundo, every hundo. Johnson yeah. U says, bro, Chugs is unbelievable how he downs the boot so quick. Cullen is a savage, too, with it, man. He's just... He's right on. He's right by, right behind him. As the Knicks are up 15, and that's going to be a turnover by Dennis Smith Jr. Knicks ball going that way. Fifteen point game, four thirty to go. It's Hart, McBride, Hartenstein, Brunson, and DiVincenzo. The starting five is on the floor. DiVincenzo has it left wing. He'll get it to Ihart. He's operating at the top of the key. He'll hand it off to Brunson. Brunson turns the corner, kicks it to Hart. Hart had to reach to grab it. It was a bad pass, but they're going to call a reach-in foul by Dorian Finney-Smith. Here's...
Here we go. Brunson, top of the key, guarded by Dennis Smith Jr., 10 on the shot clock. Now he's got Cam Johnson on him. He puts it on the deck, gets downhill, finds an open eye heart in the lane. Who's fouled and one? Isaiah Hardenstein finishes through the contact. Nick's up 17. He'll make it 18 with a free throw. <laughs> Woo! Isaiah Hardenstein is playing his butt off today. When you have Hardenstein and McBride and Hart and DiVincenzo, it's all grit, all grind, all the time. As Hartenstein connects on the three-point play the old-fashioned way, he's up to 17 with eight rebounds on eight to 10 from the field, and the Knicks are looking to close it out with 350 to go. I heart no radio. I love that, Lorenzo. I love that. Cam Thomas dropped. Oh, my God. Finney Smith just blew by Hartenstein. That's a tough assignment for him. Knicks up by 16. Josh Hart controls. 3.30 to go. He'll swing it around the perimeter to Deuce. Deuce back to Dante. Dante now to Ihart. Ihart's going to drive on Johnson. He lost it. It's going to be stolen. Stolen. Here comes Brooklyn. Bridges. Transition three. No good. Rebound by Hart. Come on. Close this out. Close this out. Brunson will bring it up. He's at the logo. Right by half court. Three minutes to go. Gets a screen from Deuce. He's guarded one-on-one. -on -one. Back to Deuce. Deuce to Dante. Dante for three. No good. Too strong. Rebound by Brooklyn. Here comes Dennis Smith Jr. in the break. He'll cross over. Gets back to his right hand. Kicks it out to Bridges. Bridges will drive. He's got a lane. And he passes the layup to kick it to Dorian Finney-Smith for three. No good. That's bad hoops. That's bad hoops by Bridges. Man, had a layup. The Brooklyn Nets are shooting 2 of 15 from the field this quarter. That's 13%. The Knicks defense has been suffocating. Brunson to Chenzo. Chenzo, corner, three. Missed it. As that's going to go out of bounds off Deuce, Nets ball going the other way. Dorian Finney-Smith has it. He'll get it to Cam Thomas. Thomas stolen. DiVincenzo on the break, and he cocks it back and throws it down. The big ragu gliding through the air at MSG. Let's go, Knicks. That's how you play in the fourth quarter. That's how you play ball. Dante DiVincenzo playing great. Gets the steal off the inbound. Throws it down, and the Knicks are up big. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Love the way that this team closed the fourth quarter. I hated the first three quarters. I thought they were sleepwalking. I thought that they weren't locked in. And then DiVincenzo McBride said, we got it. 30 points from Dante, 26 from Deuce, 12 of 23 from the field for Dante, 9 of 16 from Deuce. They're combined 10 of 24 from downtown. McBride has played 46 minutes tonight. That's big time stuff. It would be awesome to see Tips take the starters out, but you know what? He doesn't do that. Let's go, Knicks. That's how you turn it up. I don't like having to wait on the flip of the switch in the fourth quarter, Cohen, but because if that team played the whole four quarters, you win this game by 30 points. 100%. They did. They have outscored the Nets. I think it's 24 to 9 this quarter. 24 to 9. Because it was 80 to 77. I don't know if my math's correct, but that's what it looks like to me. They cooked. Two minutes to go. Brunson has come out of the game. Alec Burks has subbed in. Brunson gets the rest of the night off. Good for him. Dennis Smith Jr. drives, kicks. That's going to be an open three for Brooklyn. Good. Come on, man. Don't make Tibbs go back to him. 
Burks will bring it up. I'd sit down Ihart, who throws a backdoor pass to Deuce, who finds Hart in the corner. Josh for three. Not even close. <gasps> Deuce McBride battles for the board. It's going to be recovered, though, by Brooklyn. Brooklyn has emptied the bench as well. They've got their backups in. Smith Jr. drives. He can still leap, man. Throws it down. Yeah. As my guy, Eric Trump, coming with a $10 super chat. Shout out to my guy, ED, as the Knicks are up 104-91. Alec Burks swings it around. It's going to be D Dante DiVincenzo, who drives, gets the lane, layup. Oh, no good, but he's fouled. He's got two coming from the stripe. Eric Trump says, Dante D'Inferno. Let's effing go, Knicks. F. Rowley. Always F. Rowley. Always, always. We're going to be looking to get some F. Rowley shirts going pretty soon. Let me get my bag on that and create one. Oh, my goodness. Knicks up 14 here with 113 to go. This one is all but over. What's up, Justin? Tom Saunders, we appreciate that. Tricky Nicky in the building. What's up, Tricky Nicky? 14-point game. And Dante is going to foul 20 feet away from the bat, 30 feet away from the basket. Imagine if we all wore F. Rolly shirts. That's funny. I think it would. We'll talk about it. We'll look at it. Oh, man. Less than 60 seconds to go. The Knicks will walk out of this one with a dub as Hartenstein comes up with the steal. It's honestly sad how like bad Dennis Smith Jr. of a basketball player is. I, I thought he was going to be great. As the Knicks will just let the time roll, and they will win. They win. They cover. As another offensive rebound by Isaiah Hartenstein. That dude's freaking awesome, man. Cha says the F Roly. That might look good on the nameplate of a Giants 26 jersey. <laughs> Mr. Rick, you are hilarious. Happy Saturday, Mr. Rick. Happy Saturday. And that will do it. As Dennis Smith Jr. trying to add some more points to the board. Now that will do it. The Knicks will win. 105-93. Dante DiVincenzo will dribble it out. It's a big win. It's a big win. You didn't even show up necessarily for three quarters, but when push came to shove, when it was time to hoop, in the fourth quarter, when the lights were on and the fans were on their feet, they showed up and they showed out. Let's go, Knicks. Another win in the win column, and the push for the three seed rolls on. Love the way they fought today. Love the way they fought. It was a game they should have won, but now they are tied with the Orlando Magic at 42-28. and 28. Orlando does have the head-to-head -head tiebreaker as they beat the Knicks 2-1 to one in the season series, but I'm looking at this, and they are just one win behind the Cleveland Cavaliers for that three seed. Boy, oh boy, how sweet that would be. Wilfredo coming in with a $2 super chat. Shout out to my man, Wilfredo. Says McBride has proven himself. Let's go, Knicks. I don't know how McBride is going to not be a part of this rotation in a major way in the playoffs, man. This isn't a this isn't a Angels in the outfield thing. This isn't a Jeremy Lin type run. Deuce McBride is here to stay. This is effort. This is grit. And this is all the work that he put in his entire life being put on display on the biggest stage in the NBA. And he is reaping the rewards. Uh, that 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 he deserves, and 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 he is seeing he's seeing the flowers blossom right in front of him. I got mad love for Deuce. Uh, wasn't supposed to make it to the NBA. Second round picks, they don't make it in this league, and 
He's earned a second contract, and he might be on one of the best deals in the NBA as well. Wilfredo, you're hitting the money, uh, the nail on the head right there. You're right on the money. McBride has been sensational. Sensational. Seal Pasito coming in with a $10 super chat. Seal Pasito, happy Saturday, brother. Hanging with some punk Brooklyn fans. This beer never tastes so sweet. Oh, how sweet victory is. Seal Pasito, enjoy it. Remember when Brooklyn supposedly ran New York because they signed KD and Kyrie Irving? Huh. Good times. Good times. That really lasted a long time. That was sustainable. They, the Nets, I don't think, should be a franchise in Brooklyn. There should be one team in New York, and it should be our team because the Knicks. The New York Knicks run Nick City! <laughs> they do. The New York Knicks run the city. William Burton says, let's go, Knicks. Deuce is our success story. He is. Danny McGrath says, one more 10, please. One more 10, please. We are. We are $7 away from a beer shotgun race. We're 207 away from a beer boot race. And Cullen, he can get it done. I I'm not going to be able to beat him. That's the thing. That's the thing. Reminder, also, as we're getting closer and closer to the end of the month, every $10 you send in via Super Chats this month will get you a Walt Clyde Frazier signed photo. Signed photo. As Nick Davidov is in the game. What's up, Davidov? Were you at the game, brother? Were you at the game, Davidov? Let me know something. Let me know something. As Johnson, you... With a $7 super chat coming in. Everybody drop an eyeball emoji for Nick Davidov in the chat. Drop eyeballs in the chat for Nick DeVito. Johnson, you says, deuces. 500 shots every day in the summer paying off. Always stays ready. Not at the game today, Davidov. I feel you. I feel you. As Peter Wynn with a $10 super chat. Dub. Everybody just drop a dub in the chat for Peter Wynn. Everybody drop a dub in the chat for Peter Wynn. That's what he is. Everybody's also dropping the eyeball emojis in the chat for Nick Davidov. Shout out to Peter. Peter, I better see your face here every playoff game, brother. You were the good luck we needed last year. I better see you here. I better see you here. Shout out to Peter. And then William Burton with a $20 super chat. My man William Burton, the bang god of New York Knicks now from February is in the building. I'm glad the Brunson jersey showed up. That was the first time I had seen that navy blue jersey in person. The navy blue with the orange trim is a sharp, sharp jersey, guys. Um, I may have to get one of those. William Burton, my man, we appreciate you. And then Anthony... Dana Her says, start your engine, boys. We got a beer shotgun race coming. We're also $163 away. $163 away from a boot race on today's show. I would be a good way to start our Saturdays. $163 away from a beer boot race. Yeah, the navy blue is a great look, SO. It really, really is. Nope, we'll see you, bro. We'll see you, brother. Shout out to him. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> As this one's rolling in from Danny McGrath. Bang! 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 A two hundred dollar super chat. Bang! 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 A quad bang from D. Murda, a legend. Get the DMs in the chat. Everybody show Danny McGrath some love. That's my guy right there. He says, looks good to me. Let's go, Knicks. 
Not a great game, but we get the dub. Love you, Marshall. Danny, we love you. It's Saturday morning. You guys could have been doing whatever you wanted. And you guys chose, 11,000 people chose to come hang out with C. Breezy and I covering this Knicks game. That's major love. Danny McGrath, you are a legend. You are an absolute freaking legend. Oh my goodness. You never cease to amaze me. Or you always amaze me. Is that that's what that means? You always amaze me. I think I do. I just talk sports, dude. I just talk sports. Wellington Davies says, Danny McGrath, more consistent than a Deuce McBride jumper. I'm not sure there's anything more consistent right now than Danny McGrath being the MVP Super Chats right now. I'm not sure. It continues to show up. Charlie C. My man says, been here listening at work. Finally got a chance to say thanks. Great coverage as always, Marsh. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Ronald Pearson says, you do the best live, big dog. Got to admit. Ronald, thank you for the kind words. Davies. That's Alex. That's a, 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 That's. You guys are incredible. You guys are incredible. Nope says, where's Mike G versus Danny McGrath? That's two heavyweights right there. That's two heavyweights right there. BX Bangin says, Marsh, you've been working out. I'm trying, dog. I'm trying. We're losing some weight, man. You guys are motivating me. All the people that always want to make the fat jokes is what it is. Um, we're trying to get back in the lab, though. We're trying to get back in the lab. We're on our way. We're on our way. BX Bang and NY Rep, and that's my guy right there. LB So Wavy says, now we just need the magic to lose the Kings later today. Let's go, Kings. Nope says, he's not a big man anymore. He's skinny, man. I'm not skinny yet. I'm not skinny yet. We're trying. King Chavir Cedeno Short says, Marsh Marshall Green, are you alone? Do you want me to be alone? That sounds weird. Six pack by December? I had a six pack at one point in my life. It wasn't really worth it. It really wasn't worth it. I like food too much. Um, I'm just trying to continue to get in the best shape, po shape possible. <laughs> David says, we're not fat, we're fluffy. Exactly. Bashy says, Marsh, you made my day. The goat made my day. No, you made our day, brother. Eli says, love your show. Go Knicks from Israel. Israel, I can't even read. Jesus Christ, the boots work, guys. Or the, the beer shotguns, whatever we did. Oh, what a question. Are you alone right now? <laughs> I'm a little creeped out by that. Oh, man. Mike G says, good call. Appreciate you. Couldn't watch, so I just listened to you. Great job as usual. Thank you. Big ups for tips on Bench and Bogo. What about that, Colin? Bogey does not play in the second half. I mean, that's huge. I mean, you obviously talked about the draft capital and everything you gave up for him. Zero minutes in the second half this late in the season. I mean, that's if that's not a sign, I don't know what it is. Man. And that's without two guys that damn near play his position that are going to be playing 30-plus minutes a game in the playoffs. It's really not a good sign. You need this time for Bogey to get in a groove, get into a kind of a rhythm with DiVincenzo, Brunson, the whole crew. It's not his day today, man. He he was atrocious on so many levels. It's it's like they're not even asking him to do a lot. No. Like just make an open shot. Don't get cooked on defense and don't turn it over. Oh my goodness, oh, Danny. My oh. goodness. <laughs> As this one's rolling in from Danny McGrath. Bang! Bang! D. Murder! Murder! D. Murder! Empty in the clip! Do, 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 do! Oh my goodness, it's been a legendary day on Knicks now. This is the type of energy I was trying to show my guy Cullen on today's show. First time producing Knicks now, watch party. I think he knows what the real ones are about. D, F, and Murda. Drink one for me. One more, Hundo. More. Marshall, keep going always. Um... Let's do this. You okay. want to grab me a happy dad real quick? I got you. 
we're going to do the shotgun. I'm going to do our post game show. And then we're going to close the game or the stream with the boot race. Is everyone cool with that? So we'll close the stream with that. Yes. I will shot. Uh, <laughs> that's Danny McGrath tonight with yeah. the supers. <laughs> we got a couple. We'll do the shotgun. Oh, Allie Barefoot. Oh, Allie Barefoot. Love it. Shout out to Allie Barefoot here. Showing love. Always. D Mert is killing it, Anthony. He is. He is. Um, Got a couple other super chats too if you want to hit them. Let's do it. Terrence Myers. Yeah. What up, Terrence? That's my man right there. Marsh, think you would be a great coach. Your instincts seem to be above par. Let's go, Knicks. Thank you, brother. Um, I would love to be a coach one day. Maybe maybe I can get a son or a woman. A uh, daughter is the word there. <laughs> the son or a daughter one day. I will say this, I'm going to make my, my daughter, if I have one day, she is going to be a sports girl. She may not know it now, and she may not be a fan, but I'm going to make her the next Olympic quarterback for flag football. I'm going to be training her from the day she comes out of her mom's stummy. I would love to be a coach, man. Um, my dad was my coach in all my Little League stuff and things like that, so... Uh, Definitely, definitely got it from him. Neymar says, Marsh, thanks for covering the game live, bro. I appreciate it, bro, because they weren't covering it on TV. That's why we're here for you. That's why we're the number one show on YouTube that covers every single Knicks game live. Um, that we can. We're on pace. I think I did the counting. We're going to – my plan is to do every game the rest of the way. Um, I think we're going to be doing 65 games this year. Thinking about it like that. 82 regular season games. We did 65 live. That's, that's pretty damn crazy. That qualifies for awards at the end of the year. That, yeah. They, they, that gets me an award. I'm up for potential best Nick streamer on YouTube. There you go. My man. Johnson, you! One thing good coming from the trade was McBride getting Grimes' minutes. He was what we wanted Grimes to develop into, and we didn't have to pay him huge money. That's, that's 100%. That's 100%. Um, as you guys know, I'm such an optimistic person. I'm not pessimistic Very. at all. Very. <laughs> um, the bright side... Glass half full is exactly what you're saying of the Bogdanovich trade. Um, Deuce McBride's minutes have gone up, and as his minutes go up, his production continues to elevate. It's You don't see that out of a lot of players, um, and he's been electric, man. Uh, I'd be lying if I ever thought Deuce McBride could be this good. I never thought it. And we're going on about two or three games where he might be the best player on the team in those games. I know Brunson is way better than him. But in the Warriors game, he was the best guy playing. Um, in this game, I thought he was the best guy. Shout out to DiVincenzo, too. Oh, awesome. Dante Cook. Dante was your automatic fourth quarter bucket. You needed fourth quarter point, points, and Dante DiVincenzo, he picked up the phone. He didn't even let it ring. All right, I'm going to do this beer shotgun. We'll do our post-game show, and then we're going beer boot racing because Danny McGrath is doing Danny McGrath things. Shout out to everybody in the building. If you're still watching, give me a LGK in the chat. <coughs> Woo! Let's go. Johnson, you says, Marsh, you better make her nothing but a Knicks Giants fan. Oh, absolutely. I might get my kids when they're newborns. I might get them tattoos so they have it on their life for life. I might at, like they come out of the womb. I'm gonna bring a tattoo artist in. It's like give them a Giants logo and a Knicks logo. That way they have to be fans of them. Oh, that one hurt, dude. When it's cold, it stings, but it's worth it. It's worth it. John Pettit Marsh having a teenage daughter is rough. LMAO, my daughter's 15 and plays softball, made varsity in sophomore year. Shout out to her, man. Shout out to her. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome, John. Um, if you guys didn't know, I love flag football. Um, and with flag football getting into the Olympics, um, that's if I have a daughter one day, I definitely want her to play flag football. Um, I think it's one of the coolest sports because anyone can play it. 
Men can play it. Women can play it. Um, it's good stuff. Michael thinks the beer shotgun was hilarious. We'll be here all day. <sighs> nope, says Marshall Green to the Olympics confirmed. I wish. I wish. Um, in, in January of 2022, I was invited uh, by Team USA uh, the final 18. I made it to the final 18 of tryouts. They only took 12. I was not one of the 12. <laughs> it was fun, though. I got to go to the Olympic. Uh, it's somewhere in California. I don't even remember now. Uh, there's like an Olympics situation there. I can't even remember. But no, I was pretty cool just to be recognized as one of the 18 and then got cut. was very disappointed, but is what it be. Is what it be. Now I'm here. Now we're thriving. All righty. Let's talk about it. Knicks beat the Nets. Let's do our postgame show. The New York Knicks beat the Brooklyn Nets 105-93. to The score at the end that makes it seem like this was a blowout. It was really nice. It, it, not. It was an extreme dogfight for three quarters. I believe the Knicks were up by three going into the fourth quarter. But as that fourth quarter started, um, the first possession was a Nets three-pointer. And then from then on, Dante DiVincenzo went off. Deuce McBride went off. I think DiVincenzo had more than 10 points in that fourth quarter. Um, it was really that unit that started the fourth of DiVincenzo, McBride, Hart that carried the way for the New York Knicks. You look at the overall stats from the game today, uh, 59 rebounds. Love that. They out-rebounded the Brooklyn Nets by 13, shot 37.5% from deep and 43.3% from the field. But the reason that the Knicks were able to take off in the fourth quarter in the way that they were was because of their fourth quarter defense. There was a seven-minute stretch of actual game time where the Nets did not make a field goal. And at halftime, the Brooklyn Nets were shooting 50% from three. They end up shooting 35% from three to close that fourth quarter. The Knicks, they turned it up defensively, and I think that shows in the stats that you see on screen. They end up holding the Brooklyn Nets to 44% from three. In the fourth quarter alone, the New York Knicks held the Brooklyn Nets to just 16 points. They outscored them 25-16, to 16, and that's with a couple of garbage time buckets from Brooklyn. Um, what's crazy is the Knicks allowed 30 points in the first quarter. They allowed 36 in the second half. So you got 30 points in the fourth quarter, 20 in the third, 16 in the fourth. 36 points allowed in the second half for the Knicks. They turned it up. Um, I don't like that they had to flip the switch. I thought they came out a little lackadaisical. I get it. Uh, just come back from a long West Coast trip, first game back. Well, matinee game on a Saturday. But, man, when they came push to shove, those guys really turned it up. When the Knicks win, I like to do who gets the game ball. And today there's two game balls. And I always cheat because there's only one game ball, but I'm giving two. One of them goes to Dante DiVincenzo. He's been in a little bit of funk, in a little bit of a funk. Hasn't been able to, I would say, shoot the three ball as well as he would like, and I think you would agree with that. Only shot 4-13 today. But it was the way that he put the ball on the deck and attacked the rim with a with no fear, with a relentless style of game. He got downhill. He put pressure on the front of the rim. He's got such a good pump fake, rip through, put it on the deck one step. He can beat that guy off the bounce, it seems like, anytime he wants because D defenses know when Dante DiVincenzo catches it from three, he's looking to hoist a three. So they're closing out extremely fast. That pump fake put it on the deck. There was like a two-possession uh, point in the game in the fourth where he had a crazy layup on one side and a left-hand scoop. Like He was putting pressure on the rim. Even though a three-point shot wasn't falling, he still found a way to affect the game in a positive way. And that's all you can ask out of a player. 31 points, six rebounds, five assists. Even though he shot 4-13 from three, he ends up going 12-24 from the game. 11 two-point shots for DiVincenzo tonight. I don't know the stats off the top of my head, but I would not be surprised if that was a season high for the kid. Second game ball, Miles McBride. Dude played all 48 minutes. <laughs> I mean, like, did anyone actually think he was this good? 
And it's not to be disrespectful. It's, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I should have seen it. I mean, the way that he is playing basketball right now is special, man. He's been the best player on this Knicks team for multiple games this season. Six threes tonight for Deuce is crazy. He couldn't hit the broad side of a barn last year shooting 30% from three. But you know what that is? That's work. That's relentless hours in the gym. That is 1,000 shots a day in the summer. All grit, all grind, all the time. Nobody empties the tank more than Miles McBride. If you're proud of the way he's hooping, hit that thumbs up icon and drop a two in the chat. I think Josh Hart at halftime had like two points, three rebounds, one assist. I was up during the live stream saying, Josh Hart, bro, we need you. We need you to be more aggressive. We need you to lock in. And he said, I got you. Second half, he turned it into gear. 13 rebounds, five assists. A handful of those were offensive rebounds as well. Josh Hart, of his 13 rebounds, three of them were offensive, keeping the extra possessions going for the Knicks. Five assists. Um, Hart was great. If I could cheat and do three game balls, the third one would go to Isaiah Hartenstein. Isaiah Hartenstein has he's been playing his butt off, man. Um, still on a little bit of a minute restriction. Only played 26 minutes tonight. I, I just hope that he can get that Achilles fully healthy. Because when he was playing 35 minutes, 40 minutes in a game, you felt his impact, you saw his impact. And I honestly think he was a top 10 center in the league. The push shot he has now, that was my right hand. He's a lefty. That push shot he has around the rim is electric. Um, defense on the perimeter. The two-man game with him and Brunson has been great. Hats off to iHeart, man. Dude is just a dog. Dog, dog, dog. Love it. Got a lot of dogs on this team. Hungry dogs run faster. Knicks need to continue to be hungry. We'll break more down about this game. We'll talk about Brunson. We'll talk about everything else. But first, make sure you are hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. It's Daily Fantasy Sports Made Easy. It's the number one Daily Fantasy Sports app in North America. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. And if you use the promo code CLNS, we'll match your first deposit up to $100. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. Now is the time to play as the um, NCAA tournament is here for the men and the women. What I love is the awesome deals that they always have. They had a deal on Saturday where you could have Caitlin Clark at just half a point. So make sure you're checking the app. Make sure you're taking a look at it and take advantage of the deals that they have for new and returning users. March Madness is here. There's no better time to play prize picks. It makes the games a lot more fun. Check them out. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Pick more. Pick less. Play prize picks. All that information will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's video. The New York Knicks find a way to beat the Brooklyn Nets without OG, without Mitch, without Randall, and Jalen Brunson having one of his worst games of the season offensively. They're, I'm actually going to look it up just to see if I'm 100% right here. Jalen Brunson does not shoot this way often. The guy shot less than 30%, and the Knicks won by double digits without three starters. I'm just going to go to his game logs right here for Jalen Brunson. Game log 2023. Um, the number of games that he has shot less than 30% is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 games this year. 8 games this year. He doesn't do it. He doesn't do it often. One thing I will say that I liked about Brunson was shot wasn't falling. Still found a way to get the ball to his teammates in good spots. 8 assists for Jalen Brunson. 1 turnover. An eight to one turnover to assist ratio out of a point guard is always going to do what, always great. It's always going to help you win games, and that was a major part I thought in the Knicks doing that. That two man game between Brunson and Ihart, that pocket pass, almost James Harden esque to Clint Capella back on the Rockets, has been really really good. Presha Chua, I don't think he played in the second half. He played seven minutes tonight. I don't think Chua played in the second half. I don't know if Chua has. Fallen out of the rotation. Um, only seven minutes for him today. Jericho Sims had 18. Alec Burks. Yeah, Alec Burks. Um, he played 15 minutes. Got a couple of minutes there in the second half. 
The Detroit boys just can't get that Detroit stink off them. Bogey didn't play in the second half. He was benched. He was benched in the second half, and he deserved it. And I know that's rude to say, but he was terrible. He didn't make one three, but he turned the ball over. He repeatedly got cooked on defense. And I think it's getting to a point where I don't know how much longer you can play him. At some point, you got to think, like, right, he, he gets his offense back on track. He starts to make threes again. But I don't know. I don't know. He's always been able to make threes. Came to the Knicks, and somehow he, he can't. I don't get it. I don't get it. But it's not just that he's missing threes. He's turning the ball over. He is a terrible defender. The only positive that has come out of the trade for Boyan Bogdanovich and Alec Burks is more minutes for Deuce. That's it. Uh, Jericho gave you some good minutes. Um, he's never going to wow you. He was a plus five. So I'll rock with that. Chua was a minus nine. Chua was a minus nine. Sims plus five, seven boards. Had a couple of offensive, I believe, as well. Yeah, two offensive rebounds for Jericho. Um, he played pretty well. Other Knicks did a good job defensively. I mean, we talked about how they didn't allow many points in that second half. Mikel Bridges had to, I feel like, battle for every single shot. Yeah, at 18 points, he had 50% from the field and 44% from three. But overall, I thought they did a good job on him. Uh, and take away the 70-foot buzzer beater that he had to close the half, and he shoots less than 50% um, and almost 30%. Three of three of eight, what's that? Four, they're 40 some percent, something like that? Yeah, 37, 38. We're no math majors. We talk hoops. Um, I thought they did a good job. Cam Thomas, one of the most electric scorers and creative scorers in this league. I thought Deuce McBride made it tough on him. One of five from three, 42.9% from the deck. Also, I thought they did a good, really job on Dennis Schroeder. Overall, the Knicks did a really good job on defense. I know I've said that a couple of times. They moved their feet. I thought they played well. I thought their defensive rotations were good. I didn't like the double teaming at the start of the game because it wasn't like an aggressive double team. It's kind of the same thing they did against the Nuggets. Like, we're walking slowly to a double to double Jokic when it's like, Jokic wants to make that pass. I have enough confidence in the Knicks defenders in one-on-one -on -one situations as well as their help side defense and their defensive rotations to where they're not going to let some guy go for 50. But you will see sometimes the Knicks allow open shots to people off of double teams too much. But held team to 93, I ain't going to complain too much. Knicks going to win down three starters and Jalen Brunson having one of his worst games of the season. Game balls. McBride, DiVincenzo. And I'll give Hartenstein a game ball as well if I'm allowed to give out threes. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up icon. We're going to be back on Monday, I believe the Knicks play. Monday versus Detroit. So don't go anywhere. Tune in. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. It's a good win. It's a good win. Just have to get it done at the end of the day. That's all we asked for. They got it done. They got it done. And this is such a critical stretch. Um, these next four games are all winnable. Detroit, Toronto, San Antonio. Detroit, Toronto, San Antonio. You got to win all three of these. Got to win all three of these. Nope says we should have never got the Pistons, guys. <sighs> I think you're right. I think you're right. I was wrong on that one. I know. I know. Where Marsh was wrong, he thought the Pistons trade worked. It did not. It did not. All right, since Danny McGrath went all pro mode, we're going to close the show with a beer boot chug. Beer boot chug for my guy D. Murda, a legend. Cohen's going to get to boots. We'll knock those out, and then we're going to sign off. Still got to film a Giants video. Brutal. Um, reminder, every $10 super chat that comes in this month, you're going to win yourself a signed Walt Clay up. Uh, enter a raffle to win. So if you want to win Walt, signed Walt Sign Clyde, sign Frazier, uh, shirt. Did you order food, Allie? All right, let's do that after this. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for a boot. Because, bro, they have won more games than since the trade. They were the worst team in the NBA or one of the worst teams after the trade, though, in February. Hey, but we won. We won. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Beat Detroit. Beat Toronto. 
and beat San Antonio, and let's get to that three seed. Let's get to that three seed. <sighs> this boot's going to kill me. This bootopotamus is going to kill me. Let me put this in the case so it doesn't get dirty. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. Over 11,000 people tuned into today's stream. Uh, 1 p.m. tip-off. You guys could have been doing literally anything. And for 11,000 of you crazy MFers to tune in, that's pretty damn cool. That is pretty damn cool. Shout out to everybody in the building. Y'all are the real ones. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the damn channel. Subscribe to the damn channel. A little happy dad. A little happy dad. Let's ride. Ooh, these are ice cold too, baby. Work Hardy says MSG should hire Marsh on a 10-day. They better pay me. I ain't working for free. I don't work for free here. I ain't working for free. Does free pay the bills? Does free pay the bills? Oh, man. All righty. These are going to be tough. Happy dad boot. I'm going to get cooked here. Let's ride. How does he do it? How does he do it? I still got some. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm struggling. That didn't even feel like a fast boot to me, to be honest. I had to, like, slow down in the middle of that. Oh, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Marsh, man. Put on a great show. We're, we got to go. <laughs> I got you, man. We got to go. All right. Will I ever play 2K? I used to play 2K all the time. Now I think it sucks. <laughs> yeah, Levi's the best. I didn't think I was going to win that one. Ugh. <sighs> We'll see y'all later. Later, man.